Oh, okay, yeah. Um, yeah, hello everyone, this is um, um, new what well percent world record. I did it uh, last night. <laughs> I, I was doing a flying run and uh, got this run, so we're gonna watch it together and see how it goes. Yes. Just right away, just like the last time, yeah. So yeah, welcome everyone. Uh, this is gonna be some content. The run was quite eventful. <laughs> so yeah, let, let, let's see how it goes. For, th thanks a lot for GG's, like chat is moving very fast. It was a lot of people on blue stream. So yeah, we're, we're just gonna see how it goes, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, prediction, hey Riggs, prediction is gonna uh, stay open until the very end. But uh, is the speed alright? The speed is alright, right? It's it's not like sped up or anything. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, missed a jump. <laughs> well, let me see, just, just in case. Um video um yeah i, I think it's all right <laughs> yeah i think it's all right <laughs> for some reason the video uh maybe i'm just a bit hyped but you know the video looks like uh, it's a bit like sped up to me for some reason. <laughs> wow, somebody with 313 prediction, holy shit. How rude. <laughs> um, you can find link to my YouTube in the stream description in the about section. So, yeah, I didn't uh, turn my bot on, uh. <laughs> so yeah, hi everyone, um, this is just the beginning of the run, like nothing is going on, I mean it's, it's just King's Pass, right? I mean Vengeful Spirit, all that, <laughs> nothing interesting is going on. Uh, this is pre-recorded world record that I got uh, last night, so we'll just kind of enjoy and enjoy the ride and, well, I guess reacting to it. <laughs> How do you live through offline 112 runs, Spiritif? I am not some freaking zoomer. Uh, I have an attention span, you know. I can focus for longer than 11 seconds. That's how. It's uh, not that hard. <laughs> and yeah, um... I guess uh, technically I'm hurting my, well, partner grind, you know, uh, because I was really supposed to stream it because Twitch requires a certain amount of streams to get partner and I didn't really feel like, but I decided that I prefer to do it at my own pace, you know. So I, I figured i try a couple rounds offline and if it doesn't go anywhere I'll just chill. So I just started playing and this is my third attempt of the night by the way and my first two attempts died to explosion pogo and to monkey's pogo and this is the third attempt of the night and no Rixian, I don't need to practice explosion pogo, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, 
Let's make it a bit quiet. I think it's a bit loud. Yeah, like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I owe me a rando. We'll see how it goes. But yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, I I'll be still running this category. I don't really have any other plans. I enjoy 112. And uh, yeah, 112 is life. <laughs> 112 is love. <laughs> and yeah, this is obviously sub 5. Not it's not it's not only sub five it's uh, it's four fifty eight easy four fifty eight didn't even broke a sweat uh, what did I run before coming back to one twelve uh, before coming back to one twelve uh, I was running one oh seven it was a uh, mm, it is like a new category, 107% all bosses, and I was running it for a bit. And before that, I was running true ending. And before true ending, I was running elegy percent. And before elegy percent, I think I was running something else, like all skills or something. But yeah. <laughs> Spirity, hey prof. As a streamer with a child of your own, could you give me a couple of tips about schedule management? I'm going to try to become a streamer myself, but I don't want to sacrifice my time with my wife. It's time to do that. It's actually a very easy advice. You just stream when they go uh, bed and you sacrifice your own uh, sleep time. So th there is no easy solution. Not at all. You can, if you want uh, time with your child and your wife, Yep, you stream when they sleep, and you don't sleep yourself. So just don't do it every day. Just do it like every two days or every three days, and it will be fine. Oh, drop down. <laughs> Not a very good climb, but I mean it's 458. It's a. It is like probably the best ever or second best ever, something like that. Hey, Messness man. <laughs> I mean, th there is no solution to that. Like, you, you, you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's no magic, the Abyssal Soul. Absolutely no magic. Also, 653. If I didn't drop, I could have maybe could have done like sub, sub 650. That would have been cool. Uh, I don't do all fireballs at once because the Baldur gets staggered after the fireball and each time it staggers it doesn't spit. So we uh, we don't want to do that. We don't want to wait. That's why we do two and two. Yeah, thanks Ghosty. <laughs> Easy fireball skip. For now, the early game is not really eventful. I guess the only reason, the only like uh, interesting part about it is that it doesn't have any mistakes like obvious ones, and it's it, it doesn't have very like bad luck. So you know, and my coding channel is Valley Goes Atil. My second channel where I, where I got stuck in the wall, where I stream programming. Yeah. Uh, thanks everyone for the congrats. Easy double hit. Uh, thanks, Rix. Yeah, as you can see, I, I, I've done a couple of mistakes in this green path. Couple sloppy sloppinesses, you know. Couple sloppy slop slops. Just some team chair spaghetti gold all good old one, you know. But other than that, I guess uh, being hitless here is a bit suboptimal because oh I wanted to damage tank but missed the Vengefly and bonked. 
When did I do world record? Uh, yesterday night offline. Like the previous night. Yep, another mistake. All, all little mistakes, just, you know, couple slops. Um, every time, you know, every, every time uh, I start runs offline, I, I usually like, you know, I don't really, I don't really feel like committing to run, so I guess I'll just try a couple attempts and see how it goes. And that's why I, my early games tend to be very kind of, um, not too try hard, you know. Offline world record is pretty sus. What do you mean, Mr. Rasputin? <laughs> <clears throat> if you care to elaborate um, my least favorite and most favorite areas I don't really have least favorite or most favorite areas I like them all you know <coughs> in a way and yeah 93x very good very good uh, muffin cloak <laughs> it's Laurent. <laughs> Hello. Uh, thanks, Kaljan, and uh, have fun with the rest of your day. Hey, Aaron. Hey, Pickle. Why it's Soul Sanctum? I actually like Soul Sanctum, unironically. <laughs> did you do my curse? No, Gustan, I didn't. I can tell you that. Oh, missed the guy. <laughs> Four nail cancels. Very clean so far. Yeah, pretty pretty good fungal waste so far. I, I lost like uh, some time by dropping onto the ledge, and uh, but 101 for current patch is definitely fine for the strats that I'm going for for like the drop that I'm going for. Uh, I can't get full HP fury on this patch. They've patched it, and going full HP Fury is slow anyway, so there is really no reason to do it. Blue is doing it for memes. <laughs> What's my worst RNG ever? I have over 2000 hours in this game. Do you think I know? <laughs> yeah, you see, I went for the I went for the safe uh, explosion pogo because one of my previous attempts to, uh, that night died. Hey Ed, had died to explosion pogo, so I went for the safer version. And yeah, it's Cooper Cooper's explosion pogo. I've I I, I really like the strat so so I, I'm 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 doing it now. It just, you know, I just vibe with it. No Chloe early control, yeah, you can do this on this patch. But look at the pace, 11.32. That's very good, like, 3x is very good. Did you a different category? Uh, uh, this is my new PB, uh, Del Noy. I haven't sub submitted it yet. This is a premiere. So I'll submit it after. Yeah. So don't don't worry about it. <laughs> you see, I'm going for the left side strat. That is a nice side slash. Yep. Hey, shy. Thanks. Thanks. Hey, Romy. Very fight in our hearts. In before, I invalidate it again. <laughs> I mean, if this reaction ends up being valid, I will submit it. Because I accidentally invalidated my previous reaction. <laughs> Colette, thanks. Is there any time loss in this run? This is a 4 hour long category. There will be always time losses in runs like that. <laughs> so yes, of course there are time losses in this run. You can see I lost almost... Uh, you see, I just lost uh, a whole second to my gold here. 
even though I ended up saving time. So that was a bit sloppy, and I'm not going for optimal strats on that split because I just didn't bother to learn them. So yeah, there you go. Like, my gold here is <clears throat> three seconds lower than Kamsob. Yeah, yeah, I'm commenting on my own run, you got it right. It's, it's okay, don't worry about it. Was the process of resubmitting streamed runs and refining them? Um, if I watch the run on stream, I just make sure that the recording is not broken. By the way, cool Pogo. I just make sure that the recording is not broken and I check that, like, you know, menus are correct, uh, percentage is shown, and all that. So I don't watch the run back uh, all over again. Yeah, those pogos are cool. Morrison Valmy Helma Delica. Yeah, I fucked up here. I was too greedy for the elevator, so I decided to just kill them both because they got too far. I think that's the right decision in case I fuck up the elevator. And I'm I'm very low. I'm I'm like <laughs> barely dodged that guy. And uh, you know um. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so I'm not playing this split very well. It's uh, kind of sloppy, and I'm really short on geo. This is like I think th like 20 or 30, 30 geo lower than I would have had here in any other circumstance. Hey, sweet, thanks. And yeah, that's a very good point from Spirity that any speed run apart from you know something really old and really like uh, rigid will always have a lot of mistakes that is beatable m that make us beatable blow hey I'm kind of dodging here going a bit slower just so I you know don't die like an idiot hey pest thanks blaha tricks thanks I'm I don't like hitting this parry and I'm doing it all the time, here I kinda fixed my own mistake. Like when he dashes, it's very easy to hit the parry and it loses a lot of time. So I, I'm glad that I avoided the mistake on the second one. I paid like, an extra attention to that. Whoop. Hey, water. No, not Hitler Sanctum already. <laughs> And yeah, chat is moving really fast. I'm trying to kind of commentate on the run. Oh, barely didn't get hit. You see what I'm doing here? <laughs> I, I went down to kind of manip a soul twister to get the fuck out of my way. <clears throat> and I really don't have like geo here. You see, I'm having 1054, and I would really like to have over 1065, like 70 here. Do you think I'm going to do Fury Soul Master in a run like this when I'm 12 seconds ahead? I'm kind of hesitating, but yeah, fuck this shit. Of course, we're doing Fury. And look at this early control. And I missed the net hit. Uh, nice start. Yeah, I, I went super aggressive on the fight. I'm just actually going all in. A bit of wiggle because I waited for him to spawn first. Nice double, couple up slash, and he's dead. You, you see, 47 on the kill is very good. It's very good. Sub 50 is very good. <laughs> it's not my fast. My fastest is 43, by the way. <laughs> and this is like a best possible RNG on the second phase, also best possible RNG chat. It won't be a gold fight because my gold is like stupid. But look at the look at the pace, 17 to 27. Uh, old PB from Blue had 1726, and he then fucked up 20 seconds in the storerooms. 
So this is my best pace ever, by the way. I had 17.28 before and this is 27. Look at the early control. You kind of um, make these guys uh, stay alive and then you kill them on the way out for soul. So you can go for the fake dive instantly. And you don't have to collect soul from the totem. Very good. Very good strat. Try to preserve them for the early control. It's if you're comfortable with 3 HP storerooms climb. Like if you're not comfortable with 3 HP storerooms climb, you shouldn't do that really. But yeah, it definitely saves time. You don't have to hit uh, the soul totem. You don't wait for the full uh, pickup animation and yeah, overall very very good. And yeah, we're heading to storerooms. You see, I'm really low on Geo and now I kind of noticed. I, I think at, at this point I've noticed that I don't have Geo. And I'm... Oh no, 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 wait, no. It, 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 it's not now. I think I've, I've only noticed my Geo counter near Crystal Peaks. So yeah, scrap that. Because you will see a couple really questionable decisions from me very soon. Because my brain seen the geo ca counter and kind of started panicking a bit. You, you will see that very soon. This is just a regular movement, nothing really special here. Just like kind of clean, but I wouldn't call it like insane or something. Not even a gold, but very close. Within a second to gold on this split is fine. You are special. <laughs> Have you seen my Twitter, Slorent? It says the otherwise. It says otherwise. <laughs> yeah, I've created a Twitter account today. <laughs> Actually today. I'm drinking water, Slorent. This is an exact glass of water I had in my run yesterday. I disabled the bot. Didn't feel like running it. Yeah, so here I've noticed my Geo counter and I panicked and, and look at what I'm doing. Absolutely. <laughs> like why? Why? <laughs> what the fuck was I thinking about? Never do this. <laughs> I took a hit for four fucking Geo and lost like what? Three seconds or four seconds. Uh, how much time do you have spent speedrunning? Oh, <coughs> I speedrunned it like a year ago, right? And after my come back to the category, it took me two months to get this world record. So my PB was 335, so I dropped almost 25 seconds. Uh, 25 minutes plus in two months or something. I still don't have enough Geo, by the way, and just 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 saying, uh, 107 helped a lot for Overworld. Not really. I I had good Overworld before 107. I just ran 107 for fun, like because new new category and one XX on current patch so very cool. I think uh, all skills help my Overworld a lot. All skills was the first category I would say seriously run, you know, with an intention to get actually good at the game. So all skills is kind of where I really got like oh second uh, second trail ever. So all skills is where I really got kind of serious about the game or something like got good. And since then it's just general improvement in practice. I 
mean, 107 is very good category spirit check. <laughs> Don't be edgy about it. I like 107. But yeah, all skills is very train your movement. Yep, I lost 5 seconds, understandable, because I did a lot of questionable decisions and my overall gold in this uh, section is not very good. So this is what you should do, you should break this Geo Rock if you're short on Geo. It gives 25 Geo, it's plenty, it's a lot. You can just back up your Geo deficit with this one rock. You don't need to kill anyone in picks for 5 fucking Geo. Just don't do it, don't be like me. <laughs> hey Rifle, thanks. Pre jump into the dash. This is a very nice like crusher manipulation. These crushers are camera camera based so their cycle activates based on your camera movement that's why i go a bit to the right before dropping down the lever it kind of starts off the cycle just just right so i don't have to wait for crushers very junky but this is how it works here this is why one two two one inventory drop has different cycle by the way just because of that because when you inventory drop, your camera approaches the crushers differently. <laughs> it's just a regular C mount. I, I went a bit too wide here uh, to make sure that the crystal hunter doesn't stack. And it, like, he didn't. Just a little wiggle. He kind of took his time, right? Yeah, losing some time here, but uh, uh, minus 27 is a good good pace. <laughs> Second try into a drop. That's fine. By the way, on, on this run, I didn't want to go to bathroom after Soul Master, so I I am not, I'm not suffering there or, or anything. Just just kind of playing, you know, playing the game. <laughs> yeah, this is trans the dark split. You're right, Gusten. Very cool for this category. <clears throat> yeah, I refreshed my uh, Dream Dash strat recently, so I'm quite confident in it. I'm just staying there, and as, as soon as uh, Seer starts moving, I'm just doing that. I almost dashed there, though, because I've seen monsters doing it, and al almost did it on accident. I don't like that dash that monster does here. It's technically faster, but it's very easy to fuck up. Like dash into the side of the platform. Yeah, yeah, the wall jump, Gustav. It's kind of sketchy for me. Look at the wall grab. Oh, I, I missed the wall grab. You you should like wall grab here, Black Hedge Dragon Nix. And you avoid hard falling and don't have to dash. Oh, just barely missing inventory drops. This trap is pretty cool. You poke a couple times and air stall with dash while the husk is dying. <laughs> Kinda clean so far. The only mistake is me missing the inventory drop first try. Late birthday present. Yes, yeah, Rush, you can say so. <laughs> It's been like a week after my birthday.
Yeah, saving it out of Solitaire is pretty cool. You don't have to go back. You just don't do this movement at all in this category. Bonk. It's a blue shark in Swedish offensive tart. Oh my god, that dive. Oh, it hurts to watch. It's so it hurts a lot. Oh my heart. Uh, this is what will be available on YouTube uh, later today when I upload it and it and it gets processed. So it, it will usually like take a day for YouTube to process a four hour SWOT. <laughs> oh my god, that cleanup hurt so much. <laughs> uh <laughs> I think it, I lost like six seconds there or something stupid like that. Missing those grazers loses so much time. Oh, oh my fucking god. <laughs> I forgot about this lever. Yeah, I... I started losing my shit on this plate. It was like third try lever. <laughs> yeah, easy nine second throw. Yes, free world record, by the way. <laughs> At first I forgot that I should hit the lever. Then I went for it, but turned around too slow. And then I missed it again. Mark of Pride chest hardest boss part 2, yes! Uh, I really had troubles with levers in this run, huh? I just missed the inventory drop here completely, but took a hit of solo. Yeah, yes, it, in case anyone wondered if this run had any time losses. <laughs> <laughs> Missed the pogo, very good job. Didn't miss this one. And oh, I got two ticks of damage, that was very good. That was actually a very good fight. It was lucky and I timed my D-Darks kind of perfectly, so I negated a time loss that I've gotten from the missing inventory drop. And you, you see how much soul I have. I have a lot of soul here. At least I didn't heal a THK yet. So yeah, time safe. I mean, my Shades of Gold isn't very good. So yeah, just hitting a bit of more soul and going to Dunk Defender. <laughs> Here just this is the fastest thing ever, but with one extra hit. I, I start skipping the Geo. At this point, Geo in, in this category doesn't matter anymore. All this parry hurt. And look at this 1.5 exclusive strat. This is where blue loses time, by the way, to me. Look at this first sick inventory drop, then a wall slide, another wall slide, and bonk! Easy time save. Gotcha. Velmi <sighs> yes, it's 1.5 exclusive trick. <laughs> And blue runs on 1.4. Hey, Under, what's up? <laughs> yeah. By the way, shout out to Underlane. Uh, one of uh, one OG 112% runners who I watched before starting running the category. <laughs> oh, missed the wall jump. <laughs>
Yeah, thanks, Ander, for the GG's. Easy uh, quick kill on Dunk Defender, like very consistent, absolutely predictable. Like, easy to fuck up, but if you're focused, you kind of always get it. Oh, I got bonked. <laughs> 2 HP. <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah. Under is like true pioneer in Hollow Knight. He actually invented LG percent fun lore of the meme categories. <laughs> So yeah. This just drop, you kind of almost hug in this wall, but not exactly, and you avoid Heartfall there. Which I call Heartfall of Shame, and I didn't get it. Oh, got stopped by the second guy, that's fine. Just kind of try to avoid the snipe, and it'll be alright. In a weird way, I like that. Oh yeah, don't worry about it, Zekt. Um the run like this will always be beatable, like no matter how optimal it gets, a 4 hours run, well it's not 4 hours, it's not even 4 hours RTA anymore. My previous PB I'm running against was 3.33, 3 hours and 33 minutes in real time. So yeah, in 3 and a half hours category, there will always be mistake, mistakes that make the run beatable. So yeah, th this category will never become you know, quote-unquote, theoretically optimized to its limits. Never. <clears throat> ah, look at this strat. I like it. I have a visual cue, you kind of uh, stop your crystal dash near the first uh, kind of leaf that hangs uh, from the ceiling and then you do like a neutral dash into Pogo and it just always kind of works like that. Same kind of with this, there's like a particular particular visual cues I have to align my dashes and you're always hitless there. I remember when hitless Malruks were considered to be RNG, like these two. <laughs> like the game really came far. Uh, what route optimizations are out there? Well, the one I haven't implemented yet are flukes. So, yeah, I'm gonna, like, you, you can see already that this run isn't gonna use fluke nest. <laughs> Lake leave. Don't leave, Lake, I'm not gonna use flukes, you see that I didn't get fluke nest. <coughs> but I, I'm, I'm starting, I'll start practicing fluke nest. I've seen a couple 107 runs. I'm, I, I am convinced about failed champion flukes and post hive section. I'm absolutely. I, I didn't. I, I'm not convinced about Queen's Gardens though yet. I will have to try it out myself. <laughs> yeah, save time. Almost golded by the way. Even with bad RNG, that was very very good Mollurks and uh, broken vessel. I don't know how much time Fluke saves. People say 30 seconds, but nobody has finished a run with Flux in 112. Hey Vex, thanks. Break your temp. Yep. Oh yeah, I'm kind of doing a, a bunch. I'm, I do a couple of mistakes here, and I don't get really good pattern, so I'm just going for like true ending strat because yeah you see what's, what I can't lock him in the corner very unfortunate he kind of uh, yeah he tries to go towards the middle of the arena and I I just kind of give up and I started doing like regular true ending strat you see I'm a bit rusty on getting triples though so I missed like two of them already but I know that he's almost dead oh I don't have soul and yeah now he's dead for sure That was like slow lost kin fight. I did a couple of mistakes, missed the two triples and couldn't lock him in the corner. So yeah, not very good, but I think I will still save time. No, I won't save time. I'm losing time here. If I get tired of 112, what category do you think I might do next? Uh, I think all skills. I, I can definitely sure that 112 is my favorite category and all skills would be my second favorite category of this game. 
Uh, do you really need all pantheons? Uh, if you want to submit to for leaderboards, yes. If you just want 112%, you don't need uh, P5. All skills CPR 122 on both, Slorn. I really like uh, all skills on both patches. They are very different categories with their kind of cool, cool, cool parts. <clears throat> so I, I don't really distinguish between them too much. But I can say that I put a, a, a lot more effort into 1 2 2 1 all skills for sure. <laughs> So yeah, optimally, this is where you would like equip Fluke Nest, right? Um, on quit out from from the grab, but I don't have Fluke Nest, so I'm doing like a regular fail champion. I'm 26 seconds ahead, which is kind of kind of decent. Like for once, I didn't fuck up this movement. <laughs> No, I didn't say the time droops. You'll have to hang in there for like three more hours. <laughs> oh, got hit. Hey, thanks, Sophie. I appreciate it. <clears throat> How early pickle? I, I think before down defender. I will time that. I will definitely time that myself before doing it. Whether it would be faster to get uh, Flux before Dunk Defender or before Bretta. But I would guess before Dunk Defender so you can fight Failed Champion too. Oh, you see that cheeky wall grab? I think optimally you just drop all the way down, but I wasn't confident. So I wall grab to avoid Heartfall. Another cheeky Pogo. Oh yeah, Blue got PB today. It's very, very, very good time. Uh, he didn't get 313 though, he got 314, but it's very good still. It's faster than Monster's Old World Record. Like that he got a year ago, so you know. As Blue said, he's definitely within the range. Not doing Cursed Shade Soul, nope. Nice D-Dark. Another D-Dark. Oh, didn't get a Pogo, but... And I never hesitate to go for the Shade Soul double, it's just so good, like... If you did more than, I think, 5 nail hits, you can do Shade Soul double. Yeah, very nice punish, and I run through ending, I know how to fight this motherfucker. So, I I'm very confident in my Shade Soul strats. And you see this disrespect uh, mace hits. <laughs> yeah, that was a very clean fight. It, it's like, uh, it's not a gold, gold tier, but it's very close to gold for sure. And, wow, force in relation. Now I suspect that yours, uh, that you are Slorent's alt account or something. <laughs> I've never seen you in the same room. Hmm. Look, we are minus 40, holy shit. I can tell you for sure, I think this is the best... Well... This might, this might be... This is either my best pace ever... Look at this! I'm trying to hit... I'm trying to hit the fucking lever, I'm missing it! I'm thinking that I've missed it for sure and almost going for it again, even though it's opened. This lever just got into my head so fucking hard. <laughs> I fucking hate this lever now. <laughs> uh, holy fuck. Yeah, I'm, I'm losing, I'm taking an L to the fucking lever. <laughs> but good, uh, good like cyclone movement overall. <laughs> I like meme categories. I mean, I am former world record holder for allergy percent. Huh. You see, it's it's very good one. Of course, like Quato has beaten my ass, but I still hold pride in my allergy time. <laughs> hey, liquid. Hello. Yeah, those that lever was very rude. <clears throat> 
I mean, I lost two seconds to that fucking lever, so I, I can hate it, right? My gold is not very good, Jenker, on Cyclone. I have never properly practiced it. There's a lot of splits with, you know, like, dense movement and, like, two, two seconds of time save, like, one second of time save that I just don't prioritize because I have... because I always have, like, a minute to save in other places. And, unfortunately, that second hit meant that I will have to wait for the early control for the Vinch Light to come. So I'm already... I already know that I missed Crystal Dash window, so I'm just dashing. I'm just dashing inside. I got hit by the dying spike, so yeah, I kind of instantly knew where it's gonna lead. That's what you call like a good decision making. Uh, see dash after two dashes. Uh, not sure what you mean, Junker, but I just don't bother with crystal dashing at all. And yeah, here I missed the cyclone spot because I didn't uh, hug the wall. So it, a bit of a sloppy movement here, not gonna lie. But good wiggles. And I mean, I've practiced, wiggles I've practiced a lot. I know hitboxes for this lantern in my heart. I know exactly where this fucking curse line aligns, so look at what I'm doing. I've adjust, I was too far to the right and I've adjusted myself to the, le to the left for perfect wiggles. <laughs> Look at the Dark Jonis though. Yeah, Dark Jonis is very consistent as well. I have a very good strat for it. I don't go for any eventual pogos. Like I know where the spikes and all that, and I have an extra fireball, so I just do this. Hey Lep, thanks for the congrats. Yep, very nice Dark Jonis. I lost some time prior to that, to, to like Gorp and all that, but. That was a good one. Yeah, I lost 3 seconds to my goal, that's understandable. Minus 37 though, very consistent. Very, very consistent. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> LG percent is where you save all the grabs and then get LG charm. Akko. So it's basically get LG, uh, grab and fly LG as fast as you can from the new save. Yep, so got the Grim Child going for Dream Shield. And we'll see how it goes. I got a, a bit of an extra soul here, unintentionally. Uh, I'm trying. I'm like uh, trying to be greedy here since recently because you, you really don't need that much soul on zero. He he dies very fast. So you, you see, like I try to hit him away and then kill, and you can see me having another fireball. So I I get too much soul from the totem. <clears throat> It's, it's really a minor thing, but it's an easy optimization to make and the fight is very consistent anyway. I think I'm gonna lose like a second or two here. Uh, this world record is yours. Yes, seven for we. This is new world record. You're watching it right now. Huh? 
after this. Yeah, yeah, I lost a second. That's understandable. <coughs> hey, Quato, hello. Now we're going to Crystal Peaks. Um, I've recently been a, been like really bad at Crystal Peaks, so I have kind of practiced it. We'll see how it goes. But actually, fun fact, I didn't warm up before this run. So I've practiced a lot the other day. But before this particular run, I did nothing. I just kind of loaded the game and started doing runs. I usually tend not to do it. I think I usually at least warm up with some, you know, Colos or Pantheons. But this is where I just kind of loaded the game and whatever. Let's just do a couple attempts. A couple lazy attempts. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Thanks. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, lazy of... It's like, you're not committed. You just want to do a couple attempts and see how it goes. You're, you're not dedicated to stream. You don't feel like you're forced to stream it for at least two hours. It's a very chill mood. Like, it's kind of content and... Uh, is this even a word? No, it's contained, not content. Contained. Contained and focus mood. And my YouTube is in the description, uh, Conti. Yeah, contained, contained. And this is a gold. God time save. Uh, deep focus after crone or... I don't need soul for deep focus. I can just... Like Cyclone drop onto his head and kill him, just like I did now. And look at this fucking motherfucker. Jump, and I miss shit. Another fucking jump. Come on, let's do another jump, you motherfucker. And I kind of jumped into him. Yeah, another jump. And another fucking jump, and I miss another Shade Soul. Oh, that was so bad. <laughs> Somebody asked me what was my worst RNG ever. And that honestly wasn't it. I had worse. <laughs> Another fucking and oh my god, that's oof. <laughs> he just can't stop. Like he's just unstoppable. I just almost died there. Just fucking jump guy. And he was about to jump again. He was about to jump again. I lost nine seconds to jumps. <laughs> jump! Yeah yeah like exactly. <laughs> uh, it's quicker to wake him up, Keplers. I have 2 HP, and so I like, I'm not healing, if I die, I die. I'm honestly, don't, I honestly don't, not really, I'm not attached to that run at all. I, like, it's impossible to see dash uh, from this, uh, why don't you die FCG1? Uh, starting with Cyclone Faster for Soul Blue. Because I didn't have any soul after the focus. Of course, I'm not gonna damage tank here. <clears throat> you can you can dive, uh, Guston. You can start the fight with the dive. Like you don't have to wake him up with the cyclone. Like you have to start. You can start with the dive. So yeah, I mean, I'm pretty comfortable, confident in my crown movement. So two HP is plenty, but I avoided the damage tank just in case. Oh, uh, Shade, Soul, Nail Cancers, uh, nail, nail Cancers, Nail Cancers are faster for CG1. He has low amount of HP and you can spam Shade Soul faster. And in case he jumps, you have a high chance of DPS. I still save time though, because in my crown, I think I dunk two spikes or something in my PB previous. Hey, Damus, thanks. By the way, Blue, this run has the best early game ever. I had 727 dive 
And I didn't uh, throw to storerooms. <laughs> and I had 458 uh, Vengeful Spirit. <laughs> so now I have to run against Cursed early game. But it's honestly okay. My early game been really good recently because I've practiced it. Yeah, I don't like this Cyclone because sometimes it just doesn't work like that. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why. Yeah. Yeah, two PPs back to back as, uh, are really good. I started Crystal Dashing into this room because it's absolutely the same cycle and it's just easier to do. You see how good, how, how well it aligns. Yeah, I missed the jump, so I decided to choose as opt, opt out. Yeah, that, that was the last time as well, when Bloopy beat and then yeah. I showcased my PB. Too. It was a long-standing tradition when Bloopy beats IPB and like the opposite. <laughs> Go on, oh, fire, hello, thanks for the, for the congrats, appreciate it. Hi. I'm starting losing time though, see I'm kind of starting to slowly... I got minus 40 and look at this hard fall, this is very tight. Shoutouts to Pest for labbing this out. Like if you have to stop your crystal dash at the right time to award hard, hard fall here. And it's so satisfying to get, like shoutouts to Pest. It's, it's such a, it, it's like such a minimal time save but it's just so satisfying to do. <laughs> oh yeah also like if you're from blue stream and you already spent like four hours like please don't push yourself like ch chill or like rest this what isn't gonna go anywhere you can always uh Look at that, I missed the pogo and got fucking hit by this guy. That what that was a throw. That was a big mistake. <laughs> yeah, so I kinda panicked here a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, that's good kinda fucked me in the anus, but it's alright. Here I'm trying to pull off uh, like a um grab song percent strats and I'm missing all the dashes. So I kind of fall apart a little bit, but then I kind of hold myself together. That's all right. Here I got this cyclone drop though. Hey, offensive dart. I, I, I'm glad it make makes your life better. <laughs> wow, Riggs, that's interesting. Hey, Kuro. Good morning. Thanks for the GG's. It's just like a regular movement. I stopped here a little bit because Dash went a bit too far. My green path recently was kinda shit, not gonna lie. And I've been slacking on practicing because there's always something higher priority. Like, why would I try to practice for 10 seconds in green path when I have 2 minutes to save and got home, right? That's why my green path is so bad. And I almost quit out too early. Almost killed the run here, chat. Almost killed the run. If you quit out out of Vessel Fragment, it just disappears off the game. That was a good Grimkin, very, very nice RNG. <laughs> Monster, the MO Stray Runner, yeah. I wonder if he, like, still has world record for MO Stray. 
<laughs> yeah, Monster is great. Definitely one of my biggest inspiration to run this game. Like fun, fun lore, uh, Monsters 2, 323, 112% uh, run, like his old world record, is what actually convinced me that I want to run this category. I've watched uh, bo uh, like two of the GDQ runs, and they were interesting, but kind of not quite my jam. But uh, watching his 112 Reiki at the time, I, I just watched it and I want to do the same, like I don't fucking care, yeah. I think I joined the Discord like the same time, the same day when I watched like 112 speedrun. With the intention to run the category and here we are. Two years later. <laughs> it took me two years. Um, uh, today in blue chat I've seen people were like, oh Valley came out of nowhere and got world record, but it's not entirely true. It took me two months to get world record after coming back to the category, but I'm running the game for almost two years chat. For almost two years. And I have over 2000 hours, so it's not out of nowhere. It's been sweat and blood, you know. Look at that chat. Where do you think I'm going with this? Yep, I should go to the Grim Tent to get a Grim Child upgrade. Very nice routing, good job. <laughs> Where do you think you're going, motherfucker? Amazing world record, I know. There will be more. I will. I'll tell you, this world record is very fun. <clears throat> oh yeah, RNG manipulation, green SR, for sure. <laughs> it's very fun because my previous run, like you can see it and you're like, yeah, it doesn't have any major mistakes, just a couple unlucky RNG moments. <laughs> But you, you look at this run and you're like, this is fucking garbage. <laughs> you know it's faster. Nice RNG manipulation into the fucking dive attack. But yeah, here we're kind of dream getting out. <laughs> it's just, you know, this is a very big um, cognitive kind of bias and dissonance in world record runs. When you see a run that has like, you know, suboptimal movement, but doesn't throw too much, you think that it doesn't have mistakes and it's not improvable because you don't see big mistakes. But when you see the run that's overall better executed but has a couple major throws, you'd be like, man, this is easily beatable. And I've seen it a lot. Yeah, 112%, uh, 120 star, yes, yes, 120 star in SM64, basically. Liam's uh, world record loses, misses a Bowser throw and, yeah, easy, easy record, go get it, like. <laughs> mm. Actually, I don't like Grim Child sniping my squids because he's coming me out of soul. I also lost almost 20 seconds already. I was minus 40 at deep focus. Let's see what no ice brings us. Ah, yeah, thanks, Rix. Was this? There's nothing to reframe. Come on. Like, this is a world record. <laughs> this is like literally the best run ever done in this category. What what can you reframe here? Hey, that was a great no ice. <laughs> Almost a gold too. Back to minus forty. <laughs> Yeah, see, and I'm already in resting grounds. This is just magic. Another second try inventory drop. Oh, my God. 
I kind of waited here. Yeah, just to be safe. And that was very... That was like an average Grimkin. Nothing special. Not bad. Not insanely good. Just, you know, without mistakes. Not losing HP here is very important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. PB time prediction becoming very precise. Oh, didn't pogo. <clears throat> that was like this in the arena. I got hit at one time, but it, it's whatever. It's it's four HP is is fine, honestly. Even three HP is fine. And 3 HP is as low as, uh, as I am willing to go without benching before Isma's tier. Ah, you see? I didn't get hit. So now we're gonna get Isma's tier. Like, we're getting Isma's tier really late in this run now, which is very, very good. Have you seen anyone? I don't know, actually... Maybe I've seen... I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see after the run, the predictions. Two Cyclone here, into... yeah. Just like this. Oh yeah, th in the last showcase there was uh, somebody named Hulaile. I even remember the name, who guessed exact time. Like Forever Legend. <laughs> and then they commented on my YouTube, I told you. Like fucking time travelers, man. <laughs> don't press jump here. Don't press, don't accept this pop-up when you're in the acid and can't actually jump because you start sinking and will invalidate your run. <clears throat> uh, late Ismas in Mont Wealth, you don't have to backtrack and you don't need to perform as any acid skips, Jeff. So it ends up just being faster and safer at the same time. Yeah, 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 and it was like the first, the first, uh, first message for them too. So an actual time traveler. <laughs> yeah, yeah, blue took top three back. I wonder what's Nightmare up to. I think they've continued practicing Overworld, so we'll see how it goes. Like honestly, Nightmare running 112 is very cool. They have like an issue or opposite of mine. Like Nightmare has like cracked uh, pantheons, but like an overworld uh, experience, and I'm the uh, I'm the opposite. I have a decent overworld, but my pantheons are not not up, not there yet. Hey Zana, thanks for the GG. <laughs> Very bad Hornet so far, like, oh my god, yeah. I can't say that I'm like tro throwing it, but the pattern's kinda cursed, and this is like first double, what the fuck? And this is like backwards jump, so cursed, and parry. It's, it's very hard to manage when she just does this, but I think, yep, yeah, I kind of cut my shit together, so yeah, got a couple doubles. And she's like about to die here, and she decides to parry. And another parry, like, ju just a bit of a troll from her. <laughs> uh, the PB I'm running against Ren, like, this 3 12, 50 loses 2 minutes to world record pantheons. So yeah. <laughs> but we'll see how pantheons will go in this run, right? We'll see. Maybe they'll be good. Who knows? <clears throat> and yeah, this is my best pace ever. Uh, my best, uh, my previous best Kingdom's Edge entry was 59.35 and this is sub 59.30. 
Uh, how much did you practice Pantheons in between PBs? A lot, Rix. Pantheons uh, were and still are my primary practice focus. I only practice overworld parts that I fuck up often. Everything else is going to God home. And actually, like, a combination of my best individual levels is faster than world record, than Monsters Run, I mean. But I haven't gotten an entire God Home Run that was on par yet. In IL. But we'll see what's gonna... how this run is gonna go, right? Didn't trust my crystal dash here. <laughs> Otherwise, pretty clean. Would have been a gold if I didn't uh, release that crystal dash and. Stopped too early for some reason. <laughs> I was disappointed by this add on, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Classic. And let me complain, chat. Every time I see I see blue here, he always gets like the, the best possible fine fucking siblings that you can, you know, just pogo up. And y look at this fucking shit. I can't even do underplot here. What is this? They dare like up my ass. I can't get a good uh, lighthouse climb like with patterns like that. At least I do an optimal drop or something, you know. <laughs> Skill issue, yep. It wasn't that bad of an RNG, but you can't do underplot with it. Hey, Saturdays and paychecks. Thanks for the Prime, really appreciate it. Almost gold at that, point 0.1 from gold. No, I would have gotten bonked by the shade. It was right on the corner. I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't risk it in this category. Hey, Serpent. Like, in, in 112, I maybe I would maybe risk it in all skills, but in the 112 I tend to play on safer side for the situations like that. Skill ceiling speech helped you a lot until. Do ah, thanks, Slake. Yeah, anytime. <coughs> yeah, this pogo dash is way too sketchy. Oh, miss, miss the this pogo dash is way too sketchy. And if I do Pogo Dash into like a ceiling, I would get fucked. So I just tend not to risk it at all. Let me stand up actually, I kind of got tired of seeking. I bought a new standing desk and now it kind of rises up. Velmi Arpred. What? Velmi Arpred. What was Velmi Arpred? <laughs> Skill ceiling. Chale. Yeah, thanks for noticing my epic shirt. It's uh, my wife's uh, my wife's uh, birthday gift. <laughs> uh, skill ceiling is, you know, like the junk that Hollow Knight has that increases uh, a skill to master some something. For example, the fact that you can't buffer your inputs out of Crystal Dash. Oop, got bonked by the horn. Three seconds losing here. Yep. You know, like QJ wouldn't be as hard if you could have uh, buffer your inputs out of C dash, but you can't, so it artificially increases skill ceiling. So this kind of mentality. Like you can't buffer wall jumps, so yep, skill ceiling. Mm -hmm. Skill ceiling, yep. That's why, I mean, I don't want to rant about it too much, but 
I kind of cringe when people complain about eaten inputs in this game. Like, I cringe a little bit, not gonna lie. Because when you don't understand why your input didn't happen, it means that you have a skill issue. Because you don't understand the game fully and you need to... Instead of just uh, blindly complaining about inputs, you need to understand why it happened. Because code is not magic. Like, you know, you need to learn how the game works. You need to know where... Like, the, this game eats inputs in very, very particular situations. And you just need to learn the situations, learn why inputs are getting eaten. And how to, like, learn notorious places and learn how to, like, play around it. Yes. <clears throat> but I don't want to rant about it too much, you know. It's been, like, it's been my pet peeve with Hollow Knight runners for, ye for, for like, two years already. Oh, uh, Khaled, it's very new thing, like, Scruffy lapped it out for 106. So it's not surprising that you didn't know about it. It's like very new. Kinda nice, the first mind is a bit unlucky. Oh, nice shade soul. Nice double. Look, I'm playing really well. But I'm, I'm getting really, really bad patterns. Like, this is, this is very bad RNG. This is like really bad, really bad patterns. I think I handled that pretty well. I did one mistake when I got hit. But... I got a bit fucked by them. Spirit, are you okay? Are you having a stroke? <laughs> Triping. Uh, oh, oh my god, somebody call an ambulance for Spirit. Are you actually okay? Oh, bonked here. Creep backwards, help. Oh, okay, I see. Someone... Please help me, I'm trying the wrong way? What? I'm typing the wrong way, typing. Oh, oh, oh! I think you accidentally like uh, turned on like a Arabic inputs, like right to left. Yeah, 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 yeah. You you like input it to R RTL Unicode symbol. It's like for Hebrew and Arabic. I don't know how to turn it off, but yeah, it's a thing on Windows that you can do. <laughs> It's in like Twitch chat, like Twitch text box. <laughs> you kind of start, yeah. <laughs> Try to like refresh the page, Spirit. Yeah, I think. It, yes, yes, yes. No, thanks. I mean, I mean, glad you're back. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> Spirit kind of took away our attention from the run. Uh, I I did like a couple couple mistakes on that drop, but we're fine. And here goes the overcharmed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stroke is my guess, yeah. Yeah, 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 it's a thing that you can turn on in the browser, like RTL typing, it's it's fun. But here goes the overcharmed green fight. We're minus 30, what can go wrong, right? Three hits, bad RNG, three, three, and four. Yeah, and I got scammed. So uh, it's already I can I already missed like 60 DPS, which is very bad. Even not counting that final shriek. And you see, I kind of got scammed out of soul. My second wasn't the best. So yep, two, three, and I don't have any more. This is just unlucky. This is just unlucky. That one shriek of damage. If I gotten just one more for hit streak, it would have been uh, like a regular quick kill, but I end up losing like 8 seconds to gold or something. Sometimes it happens, yeah, sometimes like you got, you just get like bad streak RNG.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is what I actually kind of... Yeah, eight seconds of a time loss to an extra cycle. Exactly. This is this is like really how I started approaching Hollow Knight recently because complain about RNG is not healthy. Like RNG is something outside of your control. All you can do is to just try to handle it and not. Oh, yep, new solitaire struts. All you'll try to do is try to handle it well. Especially in this in this long of run, you can't come. You can complain a reset to to RNG in any percent, right? Because the run is short. But, I mean, you can't be an hour into the run. A fucking hour into the run. Like, get bad RNG on one boss that kills your run and be like, I just got fucked over, there is nothing I can do about it. You just can't do that, it's just not right. And I'm saying that and the other day I had a run that was a minute and a half behind, that I almost pulled back. And I got the worst possible Umu patterns in Gat Home. And I got tilted. I lost my uh, composture and I ended up losing that run. So I did the same mistake, but it's a bit more intricate. So it's, it's very easy to fall for that. It's very easy to just, you know, get your head deep into like RNG, where all you notice is RNG. And as in as soon as as soon as you said I I, I have bad RNG in uh, Pantheons, you lost like automatically. So like never do this, especially in God Home. <clears throat> Just try to play your best and it will be fine. And yeah, we're keeping uh, this charm to. Uh... Yeah, I said that any percent runners can do this best. Like any percent runners get a pass because you have literally like a fucking RNG check in the middle of the run. Nice gold. Yeah, we could defend our crest for the discount. <laughs> like any percent no major glitches is different. There's like fucking 50-50 RNG check right in the middle of the run. <laughs> like at a high level in any, in any percent, Umu is not about whether you get to cycle or not, it's whether you get like fast attacks. <laughs> Oh, shit, Emre was telling me to add Zolt emote, I forgot about the test. <laughs> I get sad when I see others get uh, others get angry at Umu. Sad because I know that they're actually angry at themselves. We're having terrible Watcher Knight and Hollow Knight fights. Because Umu is so easy to optimize, they take their anger out on him. Becoming more and more insecure and never addressing their own personal problems. I just wish more people understood that RNG doesn't ruin runs. Speedrunners ruin runs. Shout out to Hamathity. I think it's him coming up with this past. <laughs> I don't say random player. You have to watch for a nice, un nice underplot. Very nice underplot. <laughs> Speaking of RNG, I get sad when speedrunners complain about Elder Who RNG. And I get sad when I run against Gold Elder Who. Because you know what's gonna happen. When you run against Elder Who Gold, you will get another good fight. You see, no pancakes. But I'm losing. I'm losing a fucking, like, what, 5 6 seconds. Like, no pancakes. And I'm still losing 5 seconds. <laughs> my my goal, I think my goal just gotten like fucking 3 shrieks and he died. <laughs> yeah, movement, but in my goal movement wasn't great either. So... <laughs> the fight was just actually slower. Uh, yep, yeah, C-dash glitch, it, it is in this game, you can get stopped uh, by the jelly, you know. But it, it's actually, you see, I'm losing time. I was minus 40 at some point. I'm at, now, now I'm minus 30. And I got C-dash glitch, so it's already like, what, 5 seconds of a time loss or 3 seconds. But I, I wasn't tilted in this run at all. Like, I wasn't tilted to bad, uh, uh, to bad Mantis Lords. I wasn't tilted to uh, bad Elder Who. So, that offline run that I did, I was just, you know, focused.
I don't even know if I got tilted at any point of the run, honestly. But we'll see how it goes, we'll see. Do you find it weird to reach out in other languages? What do you mean to reach out in other languages? Can we be mad about C-Dash Glitch? I mean, it's just something that can happen. Hey, Seb, welcome back. Uh, regular Umu, unfortunately, I got C-Dash Glitched a bit. So, we're gonna lose some time, it's fine. I'm watching every play. It's, it's my own run that I got uh, the other night. I mean, yesterday night. <laughs> so yeah, this is gonna lose some time. And speaking of RNG, um, I know the whole tilting problem for speed cubing. Oh yeah. <laughs> Actually, I don't really enjoy time blind sessions. I like looking at my splits. I don't get tilted when I'm losing run when I'm losing time to my own runs. Like just seeing red isn't tilting me. I think. What tilts me a lot is when I do mistakes and then I get punished by bad RNG. You know the situation when you kind of lose HP, like lose couple HP, then you get bad pattern that makes you tank some damage and you end up dying? And your first ra and your first reaction is to say that I got fucked over by RNG. But in the reality, if you wouldn't have lost your HP previously, you would have been fine. But on the other hand, if you gotten better RNG, you would have gotten away this kind of sketchy situation where runners tend to blame the game not themselves this is what easily tilts me when i get into when i fall for it myself i'm going to save here oh yeah somebody is asked about best possible yeah best possible time is a combination of my current pace plus uh, plus my sum of best. My sum of best. Yeah, here I got some kind of unlucky jelly positions, so they covered up the platform, but it's fine. Here I, I got yeah I got debated by the background objects. <laughs> Miscounted my dashes. <laughs> this is like a little fun pogo. You pogo in and then you shade cloak through spikes. So you avoid getting hit here. Oh yeah, not tilting is definitely a skill, like for sure. Like you don't control RNG that game gives you, but you definitely control your reaction to the RNG. Bob Ross of HK speedruns. I mean, I'm not I'm not raging like I'm not ragey person. I definitely won't like throw my keyboard into my mo oh, Mr. Mr. Jump. I definitely won't throw like my keyboard to my monitor or rage quit the stream. I mean, come on, I'm 30 years old. I'm not like some fucking child. <laughs> or like man child for that matter. I'm I'm not not going to rage for a game. <laughs> But I can get ranked, you know, I can get in this like, uh, get the, like this kind of annoying prick uh, ramp mode, that's for sure. No, that wasn't a job at Blue, Blue is very good at this. Blue, Blue like never raged for sure. There are runners, our age works in rage. I mean, yep, yeah, okay, so what? <laughs> I know that uh, I know that it is. Uh, I know that if if you're very emotional and ragey on Twitch, you will have more chances to get popular. Almost missed that. I know that on average, if you're emotional and rage and like throwing the shit around, you will be more popular on Twitch. But I don't really like the audience that would bring me. So I am just myself on Twitch. I don't have like, hey Marcy. I don't have a separate personality that I'm showing off here. <laughs> yeah, like, blue, blue is very good at not tilting, at not, you know, 
but not raging. I just got this essence. <laughs> I don't know why. This is a very cool strat. You shade cloak through that guy and then pogo him into dash. Very nice. Yeah, as long as you're aware of like the rage issue and is working on it, it's it's fine. It's just better for mentality, you know. Also, you see, I I'm losing time here. Like, uh, I'm really losing time. I lost time to love key because mistakes. Here, I just kind of lost time to gold. It's fine. Uh, but let's see how Marmu goes. So far, these Queen's Gardens are like quite meh. Accidentally side slashed. Nice shriek, killed both of them. Nail cancel, dead. Three hits. Two shade souls, another hit, and another nail cancel, dead. Clean arena. Killing out your viewers, I wanna participate. Yes, blue goal. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting, Colette, because uh, like I like lurking in your streams, and you're so chill usually. I guess I don't get to see this like other side of you. <laughs> oh, got hit. That was kind of my fault. I could have just waited a little bit. Nice. Uh, two hits, uh, frogs, very good. Hey Talande, thanks for the GG's. <laughs> A big accomplishment, yeah thanks. It's like, like not that big of an accomplishment. I just kind of grind it and it, it worked out, so yeah, but thanks. Oh, I got bad RNG for Marmo, so I had to finish it with the Shade Souls. And chat, I'm not attached at all. For some reason. For 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 some for some look at the gold though, very good. Hey Drew, thanks. I, I, I'm on a good pace. I think it's at this point it's like second base best pace ever I have out of Marmo, and I'm not attached at all. I'm just like I got this run and I was watching Rix on the side. Like Rix was doing his run though. I just kind of you know was chilling. So m my. My whole attachment to this run is like, you know, eh, like, be whatever. I'm not gonna heal. I'm not gonna, like, try hard. I'm just gonna, gonna play. But this is bullshit. This is bullshit, chat. He, he actually just bodied me into spikes. He just fucking bodyguarded that ledge. <laughs> uh... Hey Nano, thanks. Um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna continue with 112. I'm not done yet. No, it, it wasn't eaten input set. I tried to dodge the Petra. I tried to dodge the Petra and uh, they were in the bad positions. Yeah, I'm gonna put flukes. I'm gonna start timing flukes and practicing them. Look at these nail cancels. Oh, both dead. I'm at 3 HP, I don't care. I, I, I even went for the scream skip. I think, thanks god they've missed it, but... <laughs> uh... <laughs> yep, just walked into me. <laughs> I I was not attached at all. No, 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 Slorent, uh, Rix raided you when I went into God home. And in God Home, I decided to focus and I just shut down my laptop. <laughs> yeah, Scream Skip would have been fine, but it would have been one HP moment. <laughs> yep, my, I lost 11 seconds. I mean, mainly, my, mainly I lost to Petra because, you know, I had to kill them, dodge and dunk them to Spike, so... 
That's fine. I'm still minus 25. That's a pace. But my deepness is very cursed. Because my PB T12 is like gold upon gold upon gold. Yeah, yeah, I had stream on a different laptop. I should stop uh, side slashing this dude. I always get hit here. It's just a stupid mistake I, I'm doing. <clears throat> uh, two cancel heart for Junker, basically. I know that you can go left and... Uh, uh, I, I know you can go left and two... And you can just drop down into the transition, any percent current patch doing it. But to, to me it's a bit sketchy. So I'm just cancelling hardfall like that. It's not it's not a big time loss against the optimal strat. <clears throat> like I know there's more optimal drop in that room, I just kind of didn't bother. Sego Nala. Baba Gondala. Baba Gondala. <laughs> I pimpas. Yeah, me neither. I, I know I could have... Like, you know, so the other day I was on a run that was a minute and 30 behind. So exactly how much I need to get Reiki. And I almost pulled it all back. And it gave me, like, I, I lost the run. <clears throat> I got the worst possible Umu. So, and I got tilted and it lost, lost me run, right? But it gave me a huge confidence boost. But I don't need to play out of my mind to save a minute 30. Like before I thought that saving a minute 30 on my this PB312 is gonna be a hard task, but after coming back from that round I realized that it's not like I, I don't have to be that good to get 311. So it it, it was kind of a relief moment for me. <laughs> oh nice one strat strategy. Uh, isn't left side bis then faster? I know, I timed both Jenker and I couldn't save time with left side strat Maybe I did something wrong But like right side was faster for me Yeah, in that run I got insane white palace. We'll see what white palace I will get in this run <laughs> It's nice, thanks I don't know why crystal dashed here Just didn't think about it it's not like not even faster. I mean, maybe it's faster, Junker. I mean, I mean, maybe it's faster. Don't think that I've timed it correctly. I didn't put any effort into timing it. I just did like a couple, couple here and there, have couple on the right, couple on the left. I couldn't save time with left, so I just forget about it. Even if it's faster, it's definitely like sub second of a difference, so I just don't care. Maybe if I ran through ending, I would care. I don't know. <coughs> I kind of stopped uh, Crystal Dash too early here. Why don't I have a meme channels? I don't like my Discord to become like a meme Discord. So I prefer my memes to be, you know, contextual. So it's not just, you know, blind meme spam. <laughs> And, oh, nice uh, down dash. <coughs> yeah, so, and when you uh, just scared of me, <laughs> I would never. Yeah, like, uh, Monster was doing that down dash uh, a long time ago, but I was always very scared. I, I, I was always, no, that's not C dash blue. Those six dashes just align very well, like, because you do the first one on the air and you can, like, buffer another one. You have to get, like, a perfect crystal dash for it to be worth it. So it's just on the worst to not be over. But yeah, about memes, when you post memes in general, you're trying to get the good memes. And if there will be a meme channel, it would incentivize people to just shit post. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Junker, I actually go I actually went for your strats before hive. Like two shade souls. Hey nerf things. 
What's wrong with shit posting? Nothing wrong. Nice high five. Huh. Uh, thanks, Blizzy. Appreciate it. All the lurkers are coming out of lurk. <laughs> yeah. But also my Discord. It's not a lot of people in my Discord and they usually they, they just like you know I don't have a lot of channels so <laughs> Hey Cactus hi <clears throat> oh, Cyclone That saves like point one but it's free so why not? Like my take on Zolt Arena I think I got pretty bad RNG here. Yeah, yeah, you see, like, this guy takes a lot of time to spawn, so I have to wait. Yeah, I, I only kill, killed one of them. Yep, so, oh, and... This is bad RNG. Oh, yeah. Boba Boo Boo, <laughs> thanks for the prime, appreciate it a lot. So, I'm losing time here. Yep, three seconds, mainly too bad, Zolt Arena. Like, if, if you don't know, uh, the timing at which these guys are... Pff, nice Cyclone Slash. <laughs> Thanks for the congrats. So the timing at which they spawn is RNG, but the uh, order at which they spawn is consistent. So you know which guy will spawn after which. Uh, like, you know how wa uh, waves align, but the actual timing for the spawn is random, so it's kind of tricky. <clears throat> hey, Slorin, I will wait for you. So I'm running against Gold Nosk. I'm getting ready for work. I see. No, I don't. I don't need to shade soul uh, Nosk door. It's literally slower because optimally you wouldn't have shade soul here anyway. So why would I? And especially you need all the soul you need. Like there is no such thing as an extra soul. No, Janker, you're just plain wrong here. You need full soul. You need full soul for Nosk, period. Like, no, no exceptions. <laughs> ah, going down. Yeah, that, that's, that's, uh, that's a good call, yes. I stopped Sidash early here, I don't know why. But also sometimes it's just shade cloak through that guy and don't cycle him. So you see like this pattern is not even bad and I'm playing reasonably well. Like he, he went up, like I'm, I'm getting shrieks, I'm getting grounded shrieks. Like I'm getting hits and... You see, th this is a decent fight. Like this is a fast fight, right? It's, it's nothing out of the blue, it's not bad, like... Not horrible RNG, I kinda played it well, but look at the fucking time loss. Just look at the time loss. I lost 10 seconds, that was a good fight. <laughs> My gold is just unfair. But yeah, it, it doesn't matter. At this point, it doesn't matter. Next time I fight Nosk, it will be Flukes. Here I kind of fuck, fucked up, but you see, I got back on cycle. MGGC or run invalid? We'll see how it goes. Oh, inventory and inventory knockback cancel. I still got the fastest cycle here, even though I fucked up the beginning. I haven't missed an extra dash, no junker. I caught up on the cycle. Like you don't before gomes you don't need extra dash because you have to wait for them anyway. So you see dash 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 dash. Uh, kinda sketch. Okay, I can still do this I think, right? And yeah, here I already can I yeah here I decided to just not, not do it, you know. Like fuck this shit because he was already too high. Well, no three seconds of a time save for me, whatever. Uh, A5 brain, hello. 
Yep. <coughs> Lost two seconds. I'm minus 14. I'm losing all my lead. I was minus 40. Eh. <laughs> Kring. Yep. <coughs> By the way, Blue, here's the optimal strat here. You cancel uh, knockback here and then you can catch on the cycle here. So this is basically how you do it. So only one damage tank. Still believe in this run. <laughs> yes, you can. It's a uh, current patch thing uh, come late. It, it works on 1.42. As far as I remember, there will be a couple like shenanigans here. Yeah, yeah, I just like barely missed the shade lock. That's fine. Missed the hit here and another one. So I decided to just go for a couple more just in case. <laughs> and here's like Jenker strats. One, two, nice. And like the, the door opens like right here. Very cool. Very cool. A bit sloppy, but kind of showcased the shit. And bonus Geo. <clears throat> yeah, but Geo doesn't matter at this point. I already have everything I need. Oh wait, Blue DM'd me. I missed a call from Blue. <laughs> uh, my Discord is in a uh, streamer mode, so I need to yeah, blue. If you want a call, you can do it. Yeah, nice goal. Blahatch snow. While blue is not here. Oh, oh, join the call. Can you hear me? Can I hear Rage you? Run, no MGGGC. I'm super disappointed. Oh my bye god, bye. I can hear him. Bye bye bye. I'm going now. Farewell. It's late. Oh my god. That was... I'm destroyed. Now I'm glad that he was very quiet. <laughs> All right, what else? Low high. <laughs> well, this now I can say it like an IKEA employee. By the way, nice hive so far. I kinda skimmed, but that was some nice hive. Okay, what else, Blue? Hey, Bally, by accepting this call, you now have uh, agreed to put in parentheses featuring Blue SR in your world record YouTube title, so I get free clout. Bye. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Deal. He's kind of true, though. He, he's he's kind of right. <laughs> what if he copyright claims me if I don't do it? <laughs> and yeah, I'm back to minus 30 because my PB hive sucked. Oh yeah, very nice jump, dude. You see, he just kind of chills on the right. Oh, shrieks, shrieks. One, two, three. Okay, I got three shrieks. Here is just another shriek. This is like... I'm playing really well, by the way. Like, I know that he's dead here. Yeah, that, that was a very good execution of the pattern. <clears throat> that was very good execution of the pattern. Of course, it's not even close to my gold. My gold is just ridiculous here. <laughs> yeah. But hey, back to minus 30, 35. If my deep nest was on par with my PB, I would have been a fucking minute ahead right now. Just think about. It. In case anyone like asks whether this run is beatable or not. <laughs> Oh yeah, this like, please, this will be bad. I, I tell you, I tell you right now. Very good damage tank. Yep, just, just, yeah, just grab the wall guy. 
Nice. Oh. Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> this is not this is not all. This is not this is not it yet, Spirit. Oh, Horm. Have to dodge. Nice dodge. <laughs> I dodged it. <laughs> this is not all yet. It's not over yet. <laughs> Tactical didactic. Yeah. It's kind of fine, right? Yeah, there's more. Oh, I missed this dash. This this like actually hurts. Oh, look at this climb. A oh, beautiful. Oh, one, two, just just go. Oh. <laughs> this is not over yet. Just go. Just fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> World record is free. <laughs> that was decent though. <laughs> yeah, I just like my uh, edge time save. Because I'm edgy. Yes, yes, unlucky, exactly. <laughs> but I'm not tilted at all. I'm just vibing with the run. I really I wasn't attached at all here. I think I become a little a little attached uh, at Colos or something. But for now I'm just kind of running the run and I'm like absolutely fine like chill, you know. <clears throat> yeah, lost lost time 5.6 shouts. I forgot to charge Cyclone. So you see, you see what I'm doing like uh here I kind of learned something new. Apparently, pogo damage traits don't re, re You see? Ah, no, no, that was fine. I pogo then dashed. Scratch that. Yeah, I actually couldn't dash here. At least I got some soul right. In, in the moment, I thought that I damaged trait and I didn't get my dash back. But yeah, I actually dashed into him. So a bit different. Yeah, no knowledge gained. That was just a regular kind of botched. <laughs> World record gameplay app. <laughs> hey, I'm still minus 30, okay? This is still the best overworld ever. Copium. A little bit of copium here. <laughs> My hair care routine. I just wash my hair like a couple times a week, that's it, old mile, mile. I don't do anything else. I just have good genetics with hair, that was a mistake. I should have refreshed my shade cloak. I don't have like... Yeah, with shampoo, yeah. I don't even have what shampoo I have, just like a gen... Oh, bonk? That's fine, second try. I just don't even know what shampoo I'm using, just whatever whatever I have in my like, bathroom. Yeah, lost uh, four seconds. <laughs> but yeah, I, I really don't have any like bold people in my line, so yeah. It's it's just like good or good hair or in I guess. Decent climb, un honestly. This is a mistake, I shouldn't have landed on the platforms. I don't need to hit this guy, so I just see dash. Yeah, I actually lose some like three in one body shower, like shampoo at the same time. Something really cheap I don't give a fuck about. <laughs> <coughs> Look at the scream skip. Oh, shriek, shriek. I wait. You see, I wait, I turn around, I do a little wiggle to make sure that he doesn't fucking I frame my shade soul because I get tired of it. Yeah, he's dead here. I'm trying to keep him alive, you see? Like little Baldur.
Here he kind of snuck up on me. I haven't seen him. <laughs> and I accidentally killed him. <laughs> it's his fault though. He hit me from the back. But yeah, this is actually a collector come, so if we don't count fluke kill. Like, of course this Luxus would be faster, but still. Yeah, that was decent execution of Collector. I always go for this uh, Dream Nail, even though it's technically optimal. Yeah, that was calm sob. Well, technically Flux fight would be faster 5 brain, but for the strat that... Like, for, for regular strat it was the fastest one. Yeah, Scream Skip is doable on all patches. Droops. Yeah, the term Kamsop has really no weight. Like, yeah, this gold is faster than monsters, but without Flux you can't really tell, right? Like, everyone knows that Flux fight is faster. So Kamsop is, like, actually irrelevant in the city. Yeah, I'm gonna start practicing Flux. So, I got this Reiki with the regular strats, I'm kind of happy about it, so now I can actually implement flukes, like take my time and something like that. <laughs> actually a pretty decent city so far, I golded collector, that was pretty nice comeback I would say. Very nice cyclone drop, I fucking touched the ledge. <laughs> nice 1.5 elevators. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> Look at the Geo, 1,666. One, uh, <laughs> nice cyclone drop, dude. Oh my god. Great slash drop, yeah. <laughs> yeah, free world record. <laughs> yeah, great drop. Amazing drop. Oh, look at the shade dash. Okay, I got hit once. Whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna go to bathroom, enjoy uh, the cutscene and nail three. I'll be right back. How long is the journey splits from Lantern? I don't know from Lantern Blue. Um, my journey split starts from Cyclone Slash and it includes Gorp, Lantern and the journeys itself. <laughs> Very nice Cyclone by the way. Uh, and my gold is 204. So 204 including Gorp, including uh, Nightmare Lantern and including journeys itself. Like there's literally no reason to separate them. 
have like 30 second splits like what what for I'll helmet delta Amazing movement, by the way. Just look at this. <laughs> yep. Nice movement. <clears throat> World record, by the way. Run, <laughs> Joe. Yeah, like levers and wall jumps is the toughest enemy in this run so far. <laughs> hey, I'm not dream gated out. I'm not dream gating out of nail two. <laughs> so I guess good job me. <laughs> I know the route. I decided I want to get like a full soul for some reason. Very nice crystal dash. Good job. Mm -hmm. That's like third missed crystal dash this from or something. <laughs> I think you know like if you see SM64 runs, sometimes like runners do accidental ground pound. <laughs> And I, I think Misty Dash is the same in Super Mario, uh, in, in Hollow Knight. Yep, Misty Dash. Oh, that was just unfair. He, like, touched the gate and throw me off. I got thrown off some... Yeah, Misty the Nail. Yeah, yeah, such a good fight. And that... This is, like, bad pattern on top of Mr. Shriek. Holy fuck. Like, the pattern is kind of shit. And my execution is not very good. Oh, come on. That's fine. And this is like a scream, I know that for sure. Oh, this hurts my balls. Look at that. Oh. Yep. Yep, this is like white defender experience. Yeah, it happens, it happens. I lost uh, 13 seconds to my gold and uh, 8 to my PB, so now I'm only minus 19. Love Bosch, спасибо. <clears throat> I think blue camsops are irrelevant, because flux is faster anyway. And you need to add essence uh, split. If you wanna if you wanna check to your gold. Yeah, and it doesn't matter anyway because Luke's fight is faster. Come subs is community some of best Akku. So a uh, combination of best splits done by the community, by different people combined. Hey August. August, thanks. Oh the essence, but it doesn't matter because I go for the tree. And another I got two essence. Have you heard that? Have you heard of the High Elves? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> two essence from two bell flies, kind of pog. Nice climb. Nice climb. Like, sometimes my hoppers get stuck like this, you see? I tried to pogo him and oh, that just barely missed. I just figured I'd get so here. A bit unfortunate uh, with that hoppers, but it's my mistake. <clears throat> Still decent though. Ah yeah, for some reason on the current patch, on some FPS, uh, on some particular FPS they get stuck. Yeah, yeah, it's frame rate dependent. <clears throat> yep, going to calls. Let's see how it goes. I think I'm gonna sit down. <sighs> I 
I I'm capping my frames uh, to 200. So I cap my frames here. Does my camera track? I mean, my camera is on top of my monitor lab. <laughs> so yeah. I didn't leave down, you, you just... It, it was just an optical illusion. Oh, I missed my own strat with that dream nail. It's it's really tight, yeah. No, form a perfect bell curve, you hate to see it. Nice color one, really, really clean. Just like a couple mistakes, very small ones. Comfortable HP, comfortable soul, just all well. A bit unlucky with grass moments, but it's fine. Zod got bullied. <clears throat> you can see the knight, but I'm like collecting Geo. A bad pickup RNG, unfortunate. This run is world record, August. But you have to stay until the end to know the time. It's a secret. Ah, so funny, Zod, hardest boss. Nice gold. I'm sorry, I that was a bit too much toxic. <laughs> Blatch Clap it up. Hey ISO, what's up? Look at the strat I'm doing here. Nice dream nail and then I kill both of them. Kill this one and if I'm lucky I'm killing both of them too. Sick. Very clean. Here again I jump too high like... Uh, so, uh, yeah, unlucky. How do you not get annoyed of Booster Blight every goal? Because I'm not... I, I'm... I'm like liquid. I'm running the same game. I'm playing this game game for over two years. I'm just the wrong. I'm just the wrong person to ask this question. <laughs> you know. <clears throat> I'm the person who doesn't change his uh, desktop wallpapers. My desktop wallpaper is generic Windows logo that you get when you install the operating system. <laughs> wait, let me launch my bot. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, exclamation mark gold sound.
You can type now, exclamation mark gold sound. Yep. <clears throat> Very clean Colo 2 so far, just one mistake. Very clean otherwise. Like really popping off here in calls. I think I kind of started to become a bit more uh, like, uh, yeah. After Oblobos, you look at the like such a. This is like God RNG. One, like three of them align. Oh, almost got hit here. Yep. You guys have computers. <laughs> this is like very good pattern. Nice. Windows 11? Wow. I got hit, that's fine. I have a lot of uh, salt, so just a couple shrieks and he's dead. Yep, Call of Duty very clean. Also good pickup RNG. You missed uh, a couple interesting situations, Junker. And oh, oh my god, this hurts. Like, this supposed. Ah, uh, I said no! Look at the time loss. Oh. Still saved point one, though. <laughs> uh, that's a disaster. That's a disaster. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> uh, the uh, grass what uh, the reward that you get from Colo has a random spawn. Like it can drop on the right, it can drop on the left of the arena. We want it to drop as far to the left as possible. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Good save here. Uh, yeah, this run was off-stream, yesterday night. Also, very concentrated uh, Call of Duty execution so far. Like, I'm playing kind of well. well that Shriek was... A... Uh, yeah, okay, I shouldn't have said anything, that was bad. <laughs> no, I wanted Soul. And I don't trust in turnarounds here, to be honest. Like, too risky. I, I said that I'm like gen generally kind of um, kind of playing on the safer safe side. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's just I don't trust in the turnaround. So whatever. Like it, it really doesn't matter when you will do that. When you will do nail cancel after the first nail hit or after the third. It like absolutely doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, Call of 3 is about when I started to get attached. Yeah, so this is like where I about to start getting attached. I would say. Um, you get the same uh, total crystal dash distance, yes. But if you do pick up closer to the left, like your second crystal dash will end will end up uh, later. <clears throat> I know it was maybe it doesn't matter. I don't go for the tree skip because tree skip is uh, slower on average. You need to get like an insane RNG to save time with tree skip, so I just don't bother. And tree skip saves like 8 seconds, best case scenario. Yeah. 
Like the the reason why I pick up RNG uh, affects the run is because after you pick it up, the gate are gates uh, get opened. So you want to uh, go through the gates as fast as you can. And the closer is pick up to the left, the faster you go through the gates. That's why it matters. I remember, I think I got very bad uh, obols RNG here. Oh yeah, they instantly like all separated. It's like very bad when it happens. I think best thing you can do is just go kind of down and start shrieking them. But I kind of went with Shade Souls. I didn't lose a lot. Of, I didn't lose a lot of HP here, but I definitely lost a lot of time here. So yeah. Haha, <clears throat> five brain. That's a secret. I prefer to do frogs in on the right corner. Just because I can like, you know, do this, just kind of shade soul them. That guy on top, the, I, yeah, yeah, I got hit here, I remember, and another hit. This is fine, like. <laughs> Why did they edge shade soul to the right? Yep. <clears throat> yeah, 3 HP a bit sketchy, but it doesn't matter because I'm so consistent. <coughs> I didn't like that. Yep. Yeah, this Petra is... Oh, Petra, Petra, Petra. Bad RNG on this guy, so I just did that. And you see, I dashed. I, I I didn't go for Pogo. It was just safe play for me. Like, I wasn't nervous here. I just kind of tried to do the right thing without choking. Yep. Only healing twice, because uh, the other heal doesn't matter. Since you lose 2 HP anyway. Playing safe, never get more like it. Oh yeah. Miss the pogo. Oh shade salt in clutch. One to two one runners are crying right now. Hey, you just uh, start mashing the hit up. Yeah, keep tapping the nail button, exactly. You see, I'm missing like a lot of Geo, but I don't care because I have enough already. The one to two one tiers uh, Valley Go CP yeah. in my cup. I run 1062, so I have to suffer as well, but like 106 is not my main category, so I don't care. Yeah, the chill part of the run where I can kind of relax. Yeah, you see, I lost a second to my BB and then almost 20 seconds to my gold. My call of gold is uh, my call of three gold is a calm sub, so I kind of lost a lot of time. What's my mindset? Focus, blah blah blah. Uh, yeah, I just try to focus and to try to not get uh, <laughs> got stuck on the wall. I just try to not get nerves, you know, in my head. This is just. There is no, it, it's hard to do, but there is no magic. I just try to focus more. And I, tr like, uh, in this far into the run, I try not to think about RNG too much, because, you know, if you're this far and you start thinking about bad RNG, it just kind of lets you down. So I'll just try to focus on my own gameplay and don't think about luck, but it's, it's obviously it's hard, but this is what I try to do. Also, you know, trust in my training. I practice a lot, so I just trust in my practice. <clears throat> trust the Sifu. Yep. <clears throat> I am my own Sifu. Yeah, under pressure we fall to the level of our training, exactly. God, time loss. <laughs> you see, I'm minus 19, so technically I need to save a minute and 10 seconds to get world record. Something like that. On top of this. 
and I'm I'm like deep in the late game. I have 40 I have 40 seconds to save in late game though, and I did it uh, the other day. Like the other day, I actually dropped like 40 seconds of a time save uh, in Flower Quest onwards. So I will try to do the same. How good are your pantheons? My pantheons are shit. <laughs> So in this run I'm running against, my god home is 2 minutes slower than monsters. Like a minute and 50 seconds slower than monsters. But, uh, I do a dedicated god home grinding a lot, so they, they improved. So between usually between my PBs I improve god home a lot. And we'll see how this god home goes. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think like last of like my three last PBs were ahead in overworld But it doesn't matter like if I lose two minutes to world record got home, you know, it's very hard to justify Like it, it's very hard to beat Like saving two minutes in overworld is very hard So you can't just say well, I, I will keep improving my overworld and you know be slacking on got home It's not how you get good in this category you have to learn God Home if you want to be, be good at 112. Like it's just a requirement. You are at a big disadvantage if you don't uh, if you don't practice uh, pantheons. Will he get the inventory drop? Yes. Easy to dream nails. Easy. Easy. It's so easy, easy. Look at the pattern though, I'm dodging everything. Oh, well, not that, but... Oh, look at the dodge. I actually practice Great Prince Zod. Like, Great Prince Zod definitely has... You have to learn his hitbox. <laughs> cheeky dream nail, very cheeky dream nail. Oh, look, look, look I'm, I'm, I'm like dodging everything, I'm just hitting him. At this point, I know that he's almost dead, so I just go damage tank mode. Yep. This is a gold, by the way. Like, again, it is technically calm soap, but it doesn't matter because Fluke's fight will be faster anyway. So, you see... <laughs> that was a nice fight. Yeah, GPZ is very hard in all bindings. We're going for the Crystal Dash! Woo! Let's go. Okay, here I go to bathroom. I actually wanted to go to toilet, uh, I think, uh, at, in, in Colos I already started feeling it. Hey, I started getting hit when I knew that he's dying soon. That's where I went damage tank mode, so don't, don't judge me. <laughs> uh, no, 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 uh, runners like Lucness in 112, it's just... No, nobody, uh, nobody has implemented them yet, you know. No things, Rix. Wanna become a speedrunner? Buy shade skips, fireball skips, and butcher knights on bigtimesave.com. <laughs> Yeah, Flukness are good in 112, just nobody has implemented them yet. I've watched 107 runs. I'm convinced that Fail Champion is worth with Flukes and that uh, City of Tears post Hive are, is worth. I'm not convinced about Queen's Gardens though. I will have to lap Queen's Gardens myself. Oh, and yeah, Deep Nest, of course, Deep Nest. Of course, I always wash my hands. If you do hands wash skip, then you're gonna lose. It's just a rule. Never do hands wash skip. Haha, <laughs> I missed one Geo. Invalid. <laughs> Shopping, I think, yeah, here I came back to the, you know, keyboard and I think, uh, oh yeah, I was, so I was playing, playing in standing position, I was standing all the way through the run, so like two hours on my feet, right, so I kind of tired, so here I decided to put my desk down, 
So I accidentally skipped the split. Like, uh, I touched my sp skip split on the keyboard. You're gonna see it soon. Like, I just skipped the shopping. On accident. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm just I'm just saying it right now, so so you don't freak out when the uh, splits got weird. Yeah, she optimized a bit too hard. Skip the entire split. <laughs> yeah, luckily I didn't reset. So I had this situation. Oh, here, here, you see, I accidentally pressed. Uh, I accidentally pressed skip. Right here. <laughs> Um, so, I actually had that situation when I accidentally reset my run. Like, my reset button was close to enter, and during one of my quitouts I reset my run, it was a year ago, and after and since then I put my reset splits in the upper right corner of my keyboard, so it's pause button. I have TKL keyboard, like 10 killers. here it is. Here I'm kind of checking out if I have all the vessel fragments. So here's my keyboard, I hope you see it. And it's TKL keyboard, it doesn't have numpad. So, and my reset is in the upper right corner of the keyboard, so my pause button. <laughs> and there is no way I accidentally click it. Anymore. Yeah, noodles, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah, that's why, like, pause button is something I never use, ever. So that's why I put reset here. Uh, skip split, I think it's insert or, or delete, I forgot. Like I have... Oh, it might be page up or page down. I actually don't remember. I know that home is split. But I don't remember other uh, key keys. Yeah, I lost a second here. That, it's, that's okay, I'm still 30 seconds ahead. So at this point I need to save what? Uh, one minute. I need one minute to save from here on the end to get world record. And I have 40 seconds to save between here and God Home. If I play well. And I actually saved 40 seconds once the other day. No, no, uh, like... Moses world record was 28, so that's why I need time. That's why I need just 30. Yeah. yeah, at this point, I would say that I'm I'm definitely attached to the run. At this point, like I, I don't, I can't lie about it. I'm definitely attached, but I'm not nervous. Actually, chat, I I, I I'm not nervous. I'm just attached. It's it's different. I'm not shaky here. I'm very. I'm actually. I actually was very calm. I, I, I wasn't like, uh, uh, please don't throw. I was kind of relaxed. I was very calm. I definitely wasn't as focused as I should have been because, I mean, it's it was late into the night. I was definitely tired. <laughs> oh, and I, like, the big thing, I almost <laughs> went into the sly hat here. Oh. Oh, my mental will become important later into the run 5 brain. Just wait for it. Like, this world record is shoutouts to mental. This world record has nothing to do uh, about execution. Like, execution-wise, I was able to get Reiki a long time ago. This is all fucking mental. <clears throat> Look at that. Never Pogo. Like, I've seen... If you've seen Blue doing Flower Quest today and if you had a hard attack because he pogoed that gome, here's what you should do here instead. You should dash. You, you do Shade Soul and then you spam dash out of your mind. I missed a cycle here, but it doesn't matter. <clears throat> don't fucking try to pogo the gome. Like, just don't. It's gonna... Like, one, one, like one day it's gonna fail. <clears throat> yeah, go pogo free. Yeah, yeah, blue, of course. Like you're 15, but you already probably have like a half of your hair just gray. 
<laughs> Accidental side slash. Yeah, yeah, and the monster tried to pogo the golem and got an accidental air walk. So never try to pogo the golem. Yeah, I dash into the wall for safety and the, I know that it just aligns perfectly. <laughs> nice ceiling boost. Prematurely aged by Hollow Knight speedrun, yes. <laughs> yes. I call my speedrun, it doesn't stress me out. I've been through Russian army, so nothing gonna scare me anymore. Uh, <laughs> I guess jail would have been a bit more scary, but I don't want... Oh, nice spike. I just waited for the spike. You know. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's not secret. I served in army. Like, Russia has mandatory army service, so... Had to do this. Yeah, easy flower quest. Like, yeah, if you have... Um, you could have jumped after those thorns in the acid. Yes, actually on my first trip to QG, I do three dashes, like the optimal one. But during flower quest, I don't mess out. I know that you can do three dashes. I just, like, no. No thanks. I went through a period of time when I tried to optimize flower quest and it didn't go well, like... No, we're, we're not optimizing flower quest movement. No, 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 no. Blue, let's not talk about invading Ukraine. It hurts my balls so much. <laughs> it especially hurts me because I'm like half Ukrainian, so... Uh, it just, like, uh, that's so, so fucking sucks. But let's not talk about politics, okay? <laughs> let's let's talk about flower, flower... Let's talk about white pass. I'm 35 seconds ahead. I need to save 55 seconds to world record. I have... I have over 10 seconds to save... Well, not 10. What is it? Like, 8 seconds to save in white palace or something. Let's just save it. So, if you're staying all the way here from blue stream, right? Um... <laughs> Scrappy white palace into the other room in common. <laughs> nice PB prediction. <clears throat> so, you might be seeing how blue does left atrium today, right? He then goes for fancy dash master cyclist on that. Um, like, I'm gonna show you how real pro dash does white palace. Like, my goal is 418 white palace. Just, just look at that. Like, my left atrium is unmatchable. Like, blue goes for dash faster strats and left atrium is just nothing. Just, just look at it. Just look at it. Like, I I'll show you how professional speedrunner da does white pals. Like, I'm already preparing, like, to dub on my haters. And just look. Like, the display of skill. Like, yeah. Just look at that. Like, <laughs> there's a D Dash Master exclusive cycle, like very easy to get, but nobody does it because nobody is good enough at the game other than me. So first you should bonk here, and yeah, this is like the first part of the optimal left atrium. <laughs> it's not over yet. I'm still on the cycle because I'm that good, you see? like. Like, snake jumps here are very easy, uh, yep, like... <laughs> Never refre if you If you exit the room and refresh the cycle, you're a fucking loser. Always just do another cycle. Yeah, here I got just lost. I didn't know what... <laughs> and here I do normal strat. <laughs> yeah. This is how fucking professionals do White Palace. <laughs> World record, by the way. <laughs> I just, like, I done one stupid mistake when I pulled and I just got completely lost. <laughs> and the, the fun thing is that I wasn't nervous at all, I was actually quite calm. Like, 
<laughs> it's just, you know, it's it's one of those where you, you do a mistake and it kind of spirals out. <laughs> Left touch of incident. Uh, like, what the fuck? It's not over yet, though. I have a couple more sick strats, sick white palace strats. <laughs> I'm, yeah, like, confidence is gone. I'm going for the dash here. Like, dash here is the most miserable safe strat you can go for. But you can probably imagine that my confidence is fucking gone at this point. I'm like, yep. I don't got this shit. I'm out. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like somebody asked in the beginning of the stream if this run has any time saves, and no, it's perfect run. It's literally unbeatable. <laughs> I'm not doing any wiggles here because fuck this shit. <laughs> Okay, this was yeah. I missed I missed the spike pogo here, uh, but yep. Don't worry about it. It's not over yet. White Palace has two more rooms to fuck up, and you see, I'm just no. I'm not going for any crazy cycles here. I'm just fucking waiting. See, like, yep, yep. Confidence is gone. We're not doing anything. <laughs> Easy the dark. Oh. Yep, yep. Unbeatable White Palace, by the way. Uh, yep, world record. <laughs> yeah, of course, no, not doing anything here, just going full safe strats. Not, not trusting myself anymore. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no incidents in scrap. Yep, I missed wall jumps. Uh, oh yeah, that way palace was just so perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean... Yeah, Gwonki got absolutely destroyed with this White Palace. Like, he will never recover from this this, this sick execution. <laughs> yep, minus 14. <laughs> oh yeah, Gwonki is she her now. Yeah, it's like a new information. So, yep, my mistake, my bad. So, I'm minus 14. To get world record, I need to save 1 minute and 15 seconds at this point. <laughs> yeah, Gwonki said that she prefers she, her, but he is okay, but, you know, she is better, so why would we compromise? <laughs> Anyway, like, let's talk about mentality. I didn't get tilted at all. Like, you, you know, it, it even felt like I'm watching someone else is running here. Like, I didn't feel nervous. I, I didn't felt, I didn't feel tilted. I, I, I was very calm. I wasn't <laughs> fucking cycle and drop. What am I doing? I, I'm doing all these mistakes, but I'm not nervous. I'm just trying to focus again. <laughs> Blue. <laughs> I'm just that good. <clears throat> I'm just doing early birthplace. Also, look at this. Look at this insane live blood core. I actually practiced it so much. Oh, just look at that. Look at this drop right near the spikes. Perfect dash, wiggle, oba, pogo, and we're in. Oh, yeah. I, I, I bumped into the spikes to respawn, grass what? It's just a bit faster to get back. That was fucking spicy. Not gold, but it was quite spicy, yeah. That was good. I bonked here, unfortunately. <clears throat> Grab the wall accidentally. Yep. 
this wasn't like nice sketchy cyclone drop. There's nothing to reframe boost, and it's a wall record. Come on. <laughs> Oh, no streamer forgot to pick up Shriek. <clears throat> Reframe that white palace. I mean, you all know that my next run I will drop like 415. Like, I have 418 as gold, but it's not very good. I go for a lot of safe strats. And even when I IL white palace, when I do IL runs for 112, I don't go for dash master strats. To like dash master would say like five six more seconds if I go for them but I just don't bother I'm definitely playing on safe strat I don't want to go like for a second of a time save uh, that was bad by the way don't worry about it I don't go for like an extra second of a time save if, the, if it can lose me five you know this kind of mentality you, you just can't do that in longer categories I mean you can of course but why bother Like, whatever. No. Climb was okay, by the way. It's, it's nothing special of a climb, but I played it relatively safe, too. <clears throat> I think it was it would be like a small gold or something. We yeah, like small it. gold. M mostly to the movement before the climb itself. The climb itself was kind of slow. Yep. So I need to save one minute and uh, what, like eight seconds, right? Yeah, one minute and eight seconds I need to save for world record. 112 will never be optimized to the point where 10 seconds in white palaces matter. Like, 112 will never be optimized to the point where like 10 seconds matter anywhere. Even 20 seconds. It will never be optimized to this point. <laughs> Look at this dream nail. I actually like I placed this dream gate and I immediately forgot about it. Velmi and you will see you you will see where it affects me. Velmi you will see like where it affects me. <laughs> Chael, Velmi Artrid. Velmi Ar Velmi Artrid. <clears throat> Yeah, there were a couple of White Palace incidents, don't worry about it. It's not like I lost 30 seconds in White Palace or anything, you know. <laughs> and here I like, holy shit, did I press Dream Nail? And I, I started panicking here a little bit and you see like I'm... Uh, messy movement because... And here, kinda, okay. Like, if I didn't press dream, if I didn't uh, set dream gate, uh, the run is dead, I would just like end it and go to bed, whatever. I just relaxed. <clears throat> I just said, like, ah, whatever. Another important thing, I had this glass of water like full before the run, and at this point it's empty, and I have like over almost an hour ahead of me. So, and I'm kind of thirsty, I don't have water, so I have to struggle. <clears throat> I'm not killing nails midway. It's 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 slow. Submit PB. Let's go. <clears throat> Nice hard fall. I got hit here, that's fine. <clears throat> like with early flukes you can't afford this movement. You would have to play perfectly here. Yeah, very fancy strat. Lose a couple seconds here. I'm like, totally fine. Three seconds actually. You would open shortcut when you go here on the first and like this shortcut. I actually have time save here. In my PB, I got lost. Absolutely like lost. <laughs> I 
Missed the ball so I have to like... Ch um, yeah, I'm getting chased by this guy because I lost the wall jump. Yeah, we got Fluke Mungo sauce time save, that's, that's right. And I, I have practiced it a lot, so n now I know the route here. I know where to stop my crystal dash. You see how optimal dash right into the dialogue. Easy. <clears throat> yeah, it could have been uh, 226 got home entrance if I didn't fuck up like White Palace and uh, any other 10 seconds of a time loss, I guess. Or even more. Yeah. Yeah, 227.17. With better White Palace, that would have been 226. <clears throat> A wake up call. <laughs> and yeah, I wasn't nervous at all. I definitely was. I was definitely attached, but I wasn't nervous. Like, I wanted to get this PB, but I wasn't shaking and I wasn't like, you know. I was breathing normally. Maybe my heart, heart rate. Nice shade soul. Yep, very good. It doesn't matter though, because the Pantheons take away your soul anyway. I mean, predict doesn't matter, Guston. Like, it's 10, 10 channel points, whatever. Hey, Jamie. But yeah. I need to save 58 seconds to get world record. Nice start. I mean, actually nice start. It's very hard to beat this bastard. Yep, good, very good. Will he save a minute? I mean, of course he will, but how much? Oh, I'm just like, I'm playing so well. This is a bad pattern, but I'm playing really well. I feel like I'm... Gatcom was my primary focus ever since I came back to the category, and we'll see whether it pays off or not. I mean, of course it pays off, but by how much? So to world record this, I would have to beat my best ever got home IL. So I need to get my got home PB right here in the run, not in some IL practice. But here. Yeah, my best got home IL is 43-47, which is not enough to get this world record. So I have to get the best got home I've ever gotten, this exact run to world record. And I put myself in this situation by fucking up White Palace. And I'm doing it right now. This is my best got home ever. <laughs> like, two months of practice, like, non-stop. Paying off in this run. <laughs> Right when I need it. All the practice, you know, paying off right when I need it the most. Just just imagine, like, how often that is, is this happens. Like, so you're on this run, it's like... You're on the run like that, and... Gorp kind of shit, you see, I'm not, I'm not getting the best RNG. I'm also not playing it well, and I know he's one hit away. It was kind of shitty pattern, but I'm very focused right now. Like, my mind is fully empty. I don't pay attention to RNG at all. All I, all I think about is to play well right here. I'm fully... You see, it's like bad pattern for Dan Defender, but I don't care. I just try to execute as much as I can. And this is what you should do in God Home. Just mind empty, focus on execution, don't think about RNG. As soon as you think about bad patterns, you lost. You lose. Look at the look at the look at this like oh this like this rotation is so good hit and to dash away another hit and two doubles like oh my god uh, yeah I have grab song uh, did I f did you feel it at no I didn't feel that I, I will get world record I just kind of I realized that I need the best god home ever so I was like well yeah like world record is unlikely but I'm gonna try to PB. Since, I mean, you know, PB is, PB is very doable. Scurry! <laughs> Thanks for the raid. Right in time for P1. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> welcome, welcome, raiders. Hi, Scurry. I hope you enjoyed your Dark Souls. 
Yes, you're right in time. This is a world record showcase that I got offline. <laughs> Look at the patterns though. I'm saving time. Look at that. <laughs> Yeah, like, this is bad pattern, like, legitimately bad pattern, because he got all the way off. But, um, you know. I'm not thinking about RNG, like, fuck RNG. Because my pre I lost preview my previous run by obsessing over RNG. I got worst Umu patterns, got tilted, and lost my composture. Oh, thanks for complimenting my hair. I actually care about my, ca my hair, like... Compliments more than I care about complimenting my run, so yeah, thanks. <laughs> Very nice. Jamie, why would I bow to these shitty patterns? <laughs> but yeah, welcome everyone, again. Look at this uh, zero execution, I'm fucking kicking his ass. Uh Oh, that was unlucky. When you do left side shriek, you can accidentally push him to the side. And that's like a little mistake I did. Yeah, like, Crystal Guardians really jump in, jump in this run. <laughs> Levers, wall jumps, and Crystal Guardians. My, my enemy. My greatest enemy this run. Soul Master, though, was real bro. I mean, this is just my vacuum cleaner, whatever. <laughs> like, why not? <laughs> Look at this strat. Like, this is such a good strat. Corner Pogos. Dead. Oh, the time save for seconds. Let's go. I got hit here, unfortunate. I got soul, so I went for another shade soul. Oh, I, yeah, I missed the shriek. I accidentally went. I pressed shriek too early, so I didn't hail cancel. I'm losing some time, but it's fine. I think this fight was bad, though. Yeah, like so. See, I'm, I'm kind of going for nail arts, but it's very opportunistic. You sp your spacing should be really perfect for nail arts. So I just dropped them. Well, not really, but yeah. 14 on the first kill is very bad. Yeah, and you see I'm getting hit here. Like, Pogo here is bad. I think I'm... And this is very bad pattern too. But... Yeah. That was great. Yeah, that was great. I lost time here. Yeah, six seconds. But I didn't tilt it. I, I haven't tilted anything. Just go. Look at this marmo. You need full soul to get this marmo. This is why you need to chill in the hot spring before marmo. Nosk. I'd be jumpy. You really need him to to recline a run like that. That was questionable, the dark. I can admit that. But overall, decent. <clears throat> oh damn! There's a prediction. Look at this. Look at this look, Marm. It's it's uh, tricky to execute without steady body. You need to manage your down and side, like down and and uh, right buttons. It's a bit tricky to do. Broken vessel up slashes. <laughs> no, you see, I'm not dashing. I'm not dashing into him. <laughs> Dead. Th that was like rather bad pattern too, but I managed it pretty well. Yeah, people predict. <laughs> <coughs> Oh, 
Like, Panther is going pretty well so far. That was a little mistake, I should have delayed. Here I just went damage tank because I'm in this final boss of the of the pantheon, so you know. You don't really need to, you don't really need your soul here for Hive Knight. You can just go ham. I definitely lost some time though to optimal Shio. I went a bit way too aggressive. I'm still saving time. You see, I saved nine seconds in uh, Pantheon One and I saved two seconds in Pantheon Two. So I saved four seconds, and I need 54 seconds more. I need 54 seconds, I think. <clears throat> Not abyss. Not abyss. Up slashes, Hive Knight, let's go! Disrespect Strat! Yeah, disrespect the Hive Knight, he deserves no respect. One mistake. Oh, the dash. Dead. Easy. <laughs> Sad. Pulled next to you. <laughs> Unlucky. It's like an average older who pattern. One pancakes, a lot of teleports. I kinda played it well though, but definitely losing time here. You see? This is just RNG time loss, whatever. Scream skip, of course. Oh, I missed the hit. This hurts. Another five hits instead of six. Missing two hits. So yeah, I missed two hits on this collector. <clears throat> Just barely losing time. You see what you do? You go on the right to minimize to to minimize losses from rolls. And here you kind of can just do this, like shade soul into shriek. He's like basically dead here. Yeah, that was a very rude pattern, extremely rude. But I played it well. So yeah, I'm losing time, but it's whatever. Again. Don't think about RNG, think about execution, and you'll be fine. Just think about it. Nightmare, Nightmare, uh, got very bad RNG in his, uh, well, I don't know the pronounce of their uh, pantheons, but they still cranked out, like, absolutely amazing pantheons. So, you know, just don't think about RNG. Yeah, Jenker, that surprisingly works well. And... Yeah, look at the gold. <laughs> 0.7 gold and 7 seconds time save. Yeah, I'm just shrieking this galleon. <laughs> that should save time, right? Oh yeah, it saves time, nice. Half a second. Look at the Zolt fight, though. <coughs> Uh, yeah, jumped a bit too late. Didn't turn around. Like, two, two small mistakes so far on Zolt. You need to ch like chill with the soul usage here, because you need a lot of soul for Umu. Said I and immediately used up all my shrieks. But yeah, he's like dead now. So I'm going a bit way too aggressive. It's okay. You don't need a lot of HP for Hornet too. So I... Kept uh, three hits of soul. No, two hits of soul. Don't mind. That was like a safe heal. I didn't need that. Actually, didn't need that. Just waiting for the dark opportunity. Yeah, that was like pretty meh pattern. So I'm definitely losing time to RNG here. You can see the time goes off. But again, I executed it pretty well. Yep, I'm losing time, but you can't do anything about it. Just kind of whatever. Got hit, that's fine. 
very good Hornet pattern, very hittable parry. Got hit, but uh, she stayed on the corner, another parry. Yeah, I go. F yeah, I, I went for stagger there intentionally so she doesn't do this, and she did it anyway. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, you should break these candles. This is RNG manip. Hey, Cry Gamer, thanks for the beats. Appreciate it. Couple shrieks. A, a bit unlucky, but he's like dead here, yeah. This is a very good slide, actually very good slide. <laughs> I'm going like ham here. Oh, so I saved two seconds in third pantheon overall. One beat. One beat. Thanks for the one beat. I'm branch. Appreciate it. <laughs> Tidy response to second. Thanks, Jamie. So yeah, so far I'm saving a little bit of time. <laughs> but I need more, I need a lot of time saves. I need to be at least minus 30 uh, ahead of my PB to be get, get world record. <laughs> Where the fuck do you save almost 10 minutes? We'll see. But yeah, no. I'm super thirsty here because I don't have water. And I'm also a bit tired, but I'm also very focused. And I've also spent a whole fucking day to grind Pantheon 4. I spent a whole fucking day to grind Pantheon 4. Must be this 3.11.28. And I spent two hours to IL this motherfucker. So the secret, the secret for Pantheon 4, I'll tell you a secret for Pantheon 4. Don't use your soul on Lost Kin unless you absolutely need, unless he's super far away like this. Because you need all the soul you can get for No Eyes. When No Eyes gets far away, you need to bring her out of there with soul, not with nail. See what I'm doing? I'm forcing her to teleport with spells, and if she doesn't, I just do more spells. Well, here I use all my spells, but... This is like fine. Like, RNG is shit, you see, but I have soul. I have soul to cover up for bad RNG. So, having a lot of soul is how you cover up for bad no ice RNG. This pattern was shit, but I didn't lose time. Dream nailing ghosts is rarely worth it, especially since I had a lot of soul already. Like, you technically shoot, but I rarely worth it. I rarely bother. Nice turn around. Oh, and here I bounced right back into him, so I didn't get fucked the same way I got fucked in the overworld. So that was my fucking revenge. <laughs> that was my fucking revenge. Fuck you, white defender. Nice up slash, that was sick up slash. <laughs> Avoid the lock frames here. So you, you see, I don't get the best patterns, but I'm still saving time on my Pantheon for PB because I just grinded P4 non-stop. Yeah, go a bit too too much damage on Markov, but he's like so low, so I just can't resist. Uh, I just don't risk it, Razvod. Like, why would I? You don't really need HP here, uh, because you can heal after uh, Soul Tyrant. 
So I'm, I'm, I usually don't worry about uh, Watcher Knight's patterns too much. Hey, Craig Gamer. Uh, you don't really have to cheer for me to notice you, don't worry about it. I'm playing on keyboard. <laughs> but thanks for the beats, appreciate it. I guess you can see chat is pretty chill. Chat's pretty chill because it's the only everybody knows that I will win, so nobody's nervous. <laughs> Which is, you know, this is a sacrifice I have to make. <laughs> Jenko, thanks for five. <laughs> yeah, Blue was still very nervous. But I'm saving time, minus 50 already. Like, this is a sacrifice I have to make. Like, when I do runs of life, I don't get hyped. Because everybody knows that this will PB, so nobody is like, you know, nervous or kind of anxious. Everybody is just kind of chilling and watching the movie. <laughs> If I got this on the stream, people would probably go more nuts, but it is what it is. <laughs> Can you take OFFIFEW menu to F my submitted run PLSUW Valley Senpai? <laughs> Thanks, bro. Oh, yeah, I could have said P new PB. <laughs> Look at that pure vessel. Not the best patterns, but you see, I, I'm not triggering any parries. I've practiced to not trigger parries. Like, just delay your hits a little bit and you don't get parry time loss. Here I just went super aggressive because he's near dead. And I need a time save, so I went a bit, like, a bit too aggressive here, I kind of chilled. You see, I'm not triggering the parry, though. This saves so much time. Dead. <laughs> nice, people. Hey, Jamie, thanks. Imagine not running 112 on patch 1.2.2.1 Oh my god, this text is so fucked up Iverion now site is the superior patch Yet save so much time I have you just DIDZ There is literally an horizon to your play current patch for a <laughs> She just cut off, she just died <laughs> Sub 6, let's go. Very important. Okay, I saved 10 seconds in P4. So now I need to save uh, 25. That, yes, yes, 25. 5. No, 35. Yeah, I need to save 35 seconds in P5. And I have like 40 seconds to save there. So n now I kind of feel it. So uh, Colette asked me if I felt it. Now I'm feeling it. Now I'm really feeling it. Oh, impossible jump. Oh my Do you ever imagine Vali just filling a run with time save until IT bears? <laughs> like Vali just goes fast into the run until the run bears open leaving nothing but green. Oh. Gold is NDPB. Gold is NDPB. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, here I'm feeling it. Now, like now I'm feeling... Uh, I need to save 35 seconds. I know I can save 40. I know I can save a minute. But 40 is realistic, so now I'm definitely feeling it. Now I'm definitely feeling that I can get world record. <clears throat> but uh, the start of my P5 was really cracked, so I have to take a bit of a time loss. Oh, and that should have been an up slash. That should have been an up slash. But it's fine, it's honestly fine. You're anxious, don't worry. But I definitely need to play uh, near to my best here. Hey Palm, thanks for the congrats. <laughs> okay, I need to save 40 seconds now, because I lost some. Oh yeah, so stressful. 
<clears throat> no, Slorent, I mean, let people predict. It, it doesn't affect anything, but it's fun. It's 10 ch channel points anyway. <laughs> uh, good, uh, good Mossy, Mossy pet. Massive Moss Charger. Oh, look at the gold. Hey, thanks for the 20, Prey Gamer. decent I think yeah I pushed him out of the arena so he forced like teleporting back it's kind of intentional manip I'm doing you see yeah that was a good that was good gorp like well played still losing time because the beginning of my p5 was uh, unironically very good I've actually my beginning PB, P5, save time on monsters even. Yeah, I know blue, that's why I'm doing two shade souls at the beginning. So you kill him in two cycle no matter what. And yeah, I went a bit off on my timing here. So here, yeah, I'm like playing it not very well, but... It didn't matter because my PB was even worse. So yeah, 52 ahead. I need to save uh, 38 seconds. 38 seconds. <laughs> from here, uh, from from now on. 36. Hey, eyes. Bad Shriek RNG, missed two hits here, don't care. Uh, Tiso doesn't appear in Pantheons if uh, you don't uh, talk with him in Overworld, and we don't talk with him. That was a bit cheeky Shriek, you see I'm just damage tanking, and he, he'd fucking run away again, but I don't care. Again, focusing on execution. I, I will point out RNG here, but... Yeah, here I'm just healing and doing bench skip, I think. You see the cheeky dream nail, yeah. 2 HP away, but a lot of soul is definitely fine. Pretty good zero, like one hit, but it's fine. Got pushed. Just finish him off with the shade, so that's fine. A bit unlucky, I did like one mistake, missed a bit of, missed some DPS, but... Uh, overall saving time. Okay, 35 seconds. We're back to 35 seconds of deficit. I would probably eat the dark here. Would have been a bit faster, but whatever. Hey, Allison, hello. Oh, Soul Master running against my gold, basically. Wiggles! Wiggles! Damage boost Wiggles! Dead. That was very that was lucky, not gonna lie. <laughs> oh look at the strat, fake dive. That's how you gold soul master. Is it gonna be gold? Yeah, that's that gonna be gold. <clears throat> That's kind of lucky. Uh, you see, you need to do right trick here to bring them together. Right side trick to pull them back. <clears throat> Decent doubles. Yes, 33 seconds to save. <laughs> I'm clutching the chat. I missed, missed two hits here. Oh, one. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. You can do 4 hits here on the uh, down dash attack. I'm just not very good at it. And look at this fight though, one shriek. 
Like this fight, I just another shriek. I just destroyed their fucking asses. And they're asked for more. They just getting absolutely destroyed. That was very sketchy, the dark. And I'm switching the sides to uh, stretch my DPS. Nice up slash. Dead. That's like sub minute. Sub minute uh, is very good. Yep. Sub minute sisters of battle is very good. They got fucked. <clears throat> Let's check marble. I'm doing a bit different strat here. Oh, I missed the shriek, but it doesn't matter. I have a lot of soul. Yeah, I have a lot of soul, but mar marble pattern was still kind of bad. And we are bad to the deficit. Yeah. 36 seconds. Still need. Still need 36 seconds. Blahash. <laughs> Nice up slash some broken vessel. Shriek. That was questionable dash, but kind of worked out, so whatever. <clears throat> Blow high. Jumper. Yikes. 22 or 23, let's go. Blachach, blachach. Nice, clean up. Oh yeah, 26 blue, thanks. <clears throat> we are a minute ahead! <laughs> 29 seconds to save. 29. You see, Jamie, I'm correct. I'm just going all in on this, on this Shiva. Hey, potato, thanks. And <coughs> <laughs> thanks for the 10, Jamie. <laughs> I need 28 seconds to save. <laughs> Why 19, though? I mean, I'm... I'm... Uh, I'm... Uh, counting to 130, just to be safe. 130. <clears throat> I know that it's technically eight seconds faster, but it's it's easier to count for me. Blanik the Don't worry, I know that it's technically not correct, but it's easier to count. <clears throat> Some RNG time loss, so it's fine. Back to disadvantage, but collector scream skip. And here you get all 6, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, that's perfect. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Perfect. 1, 2, stagger. 1, 2, 3, 4, dead. Yep. Yeah, it's 3 a.m. for me right now. Unfortunately, losing time because bad RNG. I got, like, executed it very well, bad RNG. Hey, <laughs> Somni. Nice up slash. And I just go like with spells. Up slash shriek, he's dead, yep. <clears throat> that was a good kill, this should save like a second, I think. Yep, exactly second. You see, I'm not getting the best patterns, but I'm executing them really well. Oh, this great slash. Cheeky one. So apparently just dodging bats there really works out pretty well. A bit sloppy on the damage tanks though. If I were brave I would probably heal to 5 and skip the bench but I decided not to risk it. Because like at this point I'm really feeling it. I'm playing well. I'm not getting the best patterns but I'm playing really well and I'm really feeling the wrecker right now. I know that Umu is ahead so Umu can kinda ruin it. And we'll see what happens, but I have this feeling inside that I can do it. <clears throat> I 
Kind of roll, but I played it well. I kind of missed the pogo here. Here I should have... Yeah, that was a bad dash. Didn't finish the shade soul. So not playing it like to the best of my build. Also got a roll, very unlucky. <laughs> Just decided... Here I kind of started burning my spells. I shouldn't have done it. Like, but I like you also don't really have choice, right? And this is really bad. Like having low soul at Umu can fuck you in the ass. And this is how my run the other day died. I didn't have soul. I had very bad patterns. Uh, I I wasted HP. So and we're stacking with a fucking slow attack. Exactly the same fucking thing. You see? And yep, bad pattern. Time loss. Well, what you can do, and like, at least dream nail. So, um, like, okay, we get Umu, but <laughs> I didn't get soul. So here I'm forced to damage tank, and you see what happens? A fucking jelly just barely missed the Umu, missed Umu. <laughs> like, I'm losing so much time here, I'm losing seven, 18 seconds, yeah, it's basically the exact same bad pattern. And the other day I got I died here because I got tilted. Here was no tilt whatsoever. I was so focused, I didn't even care. I just like focus. Focus, you got this. And look at the execution. Like hit it's, it's fine, but I got sold, so cloud pogo. And this motherfucker goes to ceiling. Four seconds lost, but I don't care. I do not fucking nail art into shade soul. Just wait here. And uh, nail hit into shriek, dead. But I burn another shriek just in case so yeah another time loss even more time loss but i'm focused i don't give a shit just pure focus like this is where mentality comes into play i didn't get tilted here i lost 30 seconds right here 30 seconds lost to potential time save that was like a mistake he dropped on top of me like at this point i know that he's dead i don't care about damage tanks and I will get healed here. And yeah, I've practiced Sly and Hornet, so I'm very confident that I can pull off low HP Hornet if I if I if I if I need. I think I will I I will get four HP for Hornet, right? Yeah, four HP Hornet, totally fine. I can't even afford a couple damage tanks here, to be honest. But you can see I'm playing a bit safer. Like she she stopped. A bit unfortunate. I'm not dashing here, so I don't dash into her. Yep, safe fight, uh, losing a bit more time to golds. But we're fine to minus 50. <coughs> Come on, Jamie. Like, she did a bad... Uh, bad job. Yeah, so I lost a lot of time. I lost 30 seconds potential time save. Uh, but I stayed home. I didn't. I, I wasn't nervous. At this point, I was like, "Yeah, wall record is probably dead, but we're gonna see." Eh, like I know I have time save, and you see my best my best possible time was still sub 311, but it's really close. So let's just play my best. <clears throat> nice up slash. The dark. Yep, worth it. Pogo, nice Pogo, that's like monster strats right here. <laughs> I only healed once, I need as much soul for no eyes as I can. I have a lot of time saved to no on, on no eyes. She's gonna be annoying chat, you see, teleport, 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 of course. Doubled into teleport, that was alright, but she was too high, teleport. That was decent, like the ending was decent, but the beginning was sketchy. That's why you need a lot of fucking soul. You need as much soul as you can get. For no eyes. I need to save like 20 seconds to world record. Yeah, at, at this point, like here, I was like, yeah, I got this. I, I kind of restored my faith in myself. I allow myself to damage time this, it, it's, it's totally fine. <clears throat> so yeah, this world record is sponsored by good mentality. <laughs> nice the dark. Oh, got hit. Like this 
fucking shit ball scammed me out of scream skip. It doesn't matter though, I have a lot of time save here. Got hit, that's fine. Got hit again, that's fine, I have soul. Yeah, he's dead right here. Hey Zalian, hey Mathulu, thank you for the congrats. <laughs> still gold it. That was shitty fight, but I still gold it. I decided to get a bit, a bit more soul here, just a little bit. At this point, like, I need to save, what, 10 seconds to world record. Like, I know the... like, here, I already know that world record is mine. Like, I don't even care about this pattern anymore. I know that, regardless of pattern, I have enough time saves. Like, this is here... this is where I know that Reiki is mine. Just... I just... I should just not choke it. Very good execution, too. <clears throat> like, here, I was just in this mental state, you know, uh, where... Um, I need two more... I mean, three more seconds to world record. Three more seconds to save. He kind of went down a bit, but then up. Like, I, I'm fine to get a couple damage tanks here because he's like literally dead. Yep. That was decent execution. And... This is... This is world record pace, official. Officially ahead of world record right now. By three seconds ahead of world record. <laughs> I dashed away, this was like a mistake, but it's fine. This shriek was intentional, I wanted to clear out the explode, you guys. That was just unlucky, he got in my way. I'm fine with damage tank in here, because you can heal on uh, failed champion in, in case you fuck up. And also I stopped doing uh, kind of spell DPS a lot, only like, one single shriek. So this is totally fine. Hey, thanks for the congrats. Yeah, this is official world record pace, look at that, 130, yep. <clears throat> I know there will be one mistake here where I uh, press quick slash too soon and end up taking too damage. Like here, you see what I'm doing? <laughs> press nail too quick. Okay, so this is like a moment. This is like, I know that... Here, I already know that uh, this is a gonna be world record. I already knew it. And here's the time when I decide, do I want to go for sub 311 or I don't want to go for sub 311. Like, this is, this is my choice now. And uh, I see the pattern. And here, like, I think I'm gonna play it safe, safer. Like here. Like, so much for playing safer, right? <laughs> <clears throat> One more shriek and stop, yep, stop with the damage tank. Uh, this is a very good situation to be in. I have a lot of soul, I can finish him off here. Like, shriek, 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 got the spot. I could have damage tank here, right here, and, and kill him, but I decided to wait. I decided to wait. You see, he would have died out of that shriek. But just in case, I decided to wait. So here I kinda, yep, I'm getting this world record, but I'm not gonna, I'm, like, <clears throat> this is where I, on this NKG, I kind of decided that I'm gonna get Reiki, but I'm not gonna, like, you know, I'm not gonna rush for sub 311. Because, like, at this point, world record is free. All I need to do is not die here. I have a fuck ton of time to lose to my son of best on these two bosses. And they weren't even that good on my PB. So you see, I'm not doing anything sketchy here, I'm just kinda staying in place. Well, I, I couldn't jump here because I pressed jump too early. That was that was a bit cheeky though. But I was confident. I don't have soul here. <laughs> I'm not triggering any parries. Dead. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna lose one second here. 
But I have I have like 20 seconds to lose to my sum of best. <laughs> All you need to do to world record is not it's don't die to radiance. Like 2OX radiance is liter absurd is literally free. Just don't fucking die. <clears throat> My real gold is uh, uh, eight seconds faster than gold in on these splits. So yeah, this is like free. Just don't die. You see, I'm playing a bit safer. Don't do don't like go ham wiggles. Usually, I wouldn't do dark here. I would just dodge the balls and go for wiggles, but here I'm playing safer. That was a bit lucky, I could have gotten hit here. I don't go for shrieks, you see what I'm doing? I'm losing time here intentionally, I'm not going for shrieks. Because I want to preserve as much soul as possible for the second phase, in case she goes to the right. So I can just chill and do shade soul doubles. It's very smart. It loses time, but it's very smart. But fortunately I got very good pattern, like very good beginning. And this is like a good one to get, you know? You see, like, this is a very good situation to be in, heatless. Have soul. I've kinda missed the platform, okay, playing a bit safer here. <laughs> you see what I'm doing? I'm dashing into the walls, even though I don't need to. That That's a troll. You see, I could've went to the right here and do DPS, but instead I'm trying to play safer, I'm trying to dodge. You see, I'm not going for full DPS. <laughs> that was another troll. Yeah. So yeah, th that's fine. I played it extremely safely, but this is world record. <clears throat> and if you know anything about Absolute Radiance fight, you already can guess the time. So it will be about 3.11.15. Right? <laughs> Yeah, thanks for all for the GG's. Hey, Colette, thanks for 112, appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 112 train. Oh, shit, the hype train. <laughs> World record speed runner will ignite place hollow night fast. <laughs> thanks, Jamie, thanks, Laurent. Blah, Gustin. Yeah, this is a 13 seconds world record. <laughs> Blahatch, quack. Hey, oh, thanks for the 112 as well. Oh shit, yeah, this is a hype train. I think, I thought it was like hype train clothes or something. <laughs> Jim, <Jim's laughs> really good. Why? 13. <laughs> Slower thinks for the 5. <laughs> oh, appreciate, appreciate it all, people. Blahatch, another Blahatch for Insomnia. <laughs> yeah, thanks everyone. And Blahatch for King Sam. And Blahatch for the oh. Galaxy Wings. Ooh. Sad, thanks for the three subs. Uh, Drew, thanks for the 110. <laughs> Why 110? <laughs> and Fern, holy shit, that's like 500. Thanks a lot. <clears throat> Blahatch for Colette. Blahatch for Frying Whales. Blahatch, Blahatch, Blahatch for Bitter Isaac and Pickle. <sighs> yeah, there you go. This is a new world record. <laughs> Astro, thanks for paying forward the gift. Holy shit, I'm so rich. Points, black hatch for you. <laughs> level 5 hype train. Yeah, it doesn't take too much to trigger five oh. level 5 hype train on my stream. <laughs> uh, black hatch for potato. And thanks, uh, Princess Celery and PKG Frog for beats. Appreciate it. Blow high for Fruno. Yikes. Oh. Cringe. <laughs> <laughs> and Blahatch for Kelpie. <laughs> thanks Blue for 112, appreciate it, and 100 from Allison. Thanks for 100 Unicorn Dicks. Rix, thanks for another 112. Zalian, thanks for 5 gifted subs. Uh, Blahatch for Gustin. Real sweet! You love to see it, not that imposter blue. Not a Blahatch for Gustin. And Blahatch for Schwift. And Noodles, thanks for the sub. <laughs> Huge fucking congrats, yeah, thanks Aaron. <laughs> Chat's gone insane. Um, no base in inventory reopen, you hate to see it. Yeah, cheers. I'll see. Blow high for so stastic cringe. <laughs> Thanks, Sina Scrolls. <laughs> 
I remember Dream Shield. I know it would be it'll be one to have. Oh, uh, the other the other time I forgot to post my splits into Discord, so it was a bit of an anti hype. Let's do it today. Let's post my Discords to stream for some shroom poke hype. How about that? <laughs> I have a screenshot of my splits right here. <clears throat> Prepare your shroom pox, motherfuckers. Uh. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, my fucking god, Slorent. Slorent with an epic victory. <laughs> Slorent, Icefire, and Alex. Winners. <laughs> yes. 112. This reaction is fucking valid. Let's go. I will upload this to YouTube and submit. 